Welcome, welcome. Back to the stream where... The series, I should say, where we Iron Man, all the Fire Emblem games. This is extremely loud, so I will be turning this down on my end quite a bit. Make sure I'm streaming. Looks like we are indeed. I gotta fix the, the light in my room. The, the problem is the, the light I normally use is kind of weird right now, so I'm using just natural light, but it makes me look very, uh, it's very bright, but whatever. It'll be all right. Uh, so we are starting, yeah, that's right, we're starting in Gallia. So last time we watched our father, uh, unfortunately, die, and uh, now we gotta pick up the pieces. Good morning, Ike, may I have a moment of your time? What is it? I'm listening. Our expenses, our ability to fight, the current status of our troops, these are all things you must know. I see. Having a grasp on this, uh, on that, is a part of the commander's job too, right? Understood. Let me hear it very well. You get this at the end of every chapter, um, which is kind of nice. Mostly, the only the only part of this I ever really look at is the fallen part. See if somebody died, but yeah, there's some useful information there. That's it. I think I've got most of it. I think there's a way to see bonus experience, but I'm not sure how to select it. Hey, Seafair, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Vin, as well. Finally, Rolf time. Yeah, Rolf, Rolf and Mist, but Rolf, Mist, and Marcia, but definitely Rolf, the most important of those uh, of those three. And I guess Leith and Mordecai, although that's not for the next chapter. I'll give you a report uh, before each battle. I hope that I hope that it helps. I'm sure it will. Thank you. I'm relying on you for all the details. Give it the good work. Thank you, Commander. I'll do my best. But if I have to leave, uh, well, if I have your leave, I must be going. <laughs> Um, yeah, the info in this game is kind of weird. We could read it all, but unless there's three stars, there's no reason to do it. I think, so there's three units that you get from info, and then there's, I think there's like a couple of items you can get from info, but for the most part, info isn't really worth your time. I also think you don't get any experience for the last chapter, although it looks like we can get, yeah, getting Boyd to promotion as quickly as we can is probably a good idea. Nice. This was a 10, de 10 defense, that's pretty good. Hello, Tiago. Welcome, welcome. Uh, he's still, I think, extremely screwed on uh, strength, but his speed's getting up there, and uh, 10 defense is pretty good. Of course, I care about they did. Oh, did you like did you like Soren, Tiago? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, he did die. This guy's also needed for... Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Is, that, is there like a special time where you do that, or do I have to like keep listening to them or something? <laughs> Meowdy Mark, Meowdy. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, yeah, we, we definitely want to do that then. How are you feeling, Rice? Good. No fevers are shaking today. Thanks for asking. You know, I was just thinking about the first time we met. It was almost a year ago to this very day. Was it really? Oh, you're right. My time does fly. Of course, I don't remember much of the initial encounter. Since I was unconscious of bleeding. Ha! <laughs> Remember that? I don't know why we didn't bring a healer with us that day. Fighting bandits without a staff? Not smart. It was lucky that I found you. I didn't I didn't usually venture that deep into the forest, but I was short of medical herbs. Yeah, those bandits were rough uh, were a rough lot. Their stomping ground was right near your village, actually. It's all coming back to me now. They were uh, tougher than I'd thought. We took most of them out with ease, but one fled into the woods and I gave chase. Big mistake. My horse got hung up in the overgrowth or undergrowth, and that bandit got the drop on me. At least Shinon hit him before I was killed. Geisha and Shinon were both really worried when they brought you back to my parents' house. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't think Shinon ever worried about anyone. Uh, but they stayed with me until my wounds were healed, I remember that. You know, if it weren't for your good work, I wouldn't have uh, been able to use an axe anymore. I really appreciate it. No, I should thank you. You convinced Grail to hire me, and now I can spend uh, now I can send money back to my parents. I always wondered how like healing works in the like Fire Emblem universe, because when we see people do it, they just you know use a heal staff and you get healed to full. But it seems like sometimes it takes longer. I don't know. They're both so old, and I'm their only source of income. Your parents were very kind, especially your mother, and she made that great wild berry pie. To repay their kindness, I will protect their only son, no matter what. Oh, I appreciate that, Titania. Reveal this base conversation chapter 13 and 19. Okay, I'll have to remember that. I do actually, now that you mentioned, I do vaguely remember a sick convoy. Uh, <laughs> I, I do vaguely remember a conversation like that in in info and doing it and then being confused because nothing happened. Because I think it is actually a three, both of those conversations are three-star conversations. And I was really confused because you'd think, usually when you see a three-star conversation, it means you're about to get something. 
But in that case, you never actually get anything. But obviously you do if you're using the triangle attack. So definitely want to be on the lookout for that. Oh, I can't buy uh, hand axes. What you can buy from the uh, vendors and stuff does change periodically, so you gotta be a little bit careful. So you got two more defense levels? Jesus Christ. At the triangle text, I want to test it out. Yeah, me too, me too. Hey, Tango, welcome, welcome. Uh, I think that's pretty much all we want to do. So yeah, I'm a little unsure about Ileana. I, I do think I would like to train her. Like, having access to more healers is useful. I was actually kind of thinking about this yesterday, and um, I, I, might, I might end up going, like, really meme. Because there's a lot of different, like, Mimi units that I want to use. So I don't know if we're going to be able to use all the, like, traditionally good units. But we'll, we'll see. Because I want to try out a lot of different units. This place brings back uh, such memories. It hasn't changed in the slightest. Titania, have you ever been to Gallia before? A long time ago, when I was still a Knight of Crimea, I volunteered for a uh, military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Gallia's Royal Palace. I get it now. That's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lagoos. That's right. I've missed the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as if it's almost as though the horizon itself is on fire. Now that I think about it, my father knew where that old castle was. He sure acted like someone who'd been to Gallia before. Was he here with you? Mm hmm. And we weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? Ike? It's Mordecai. You'd better answer him. Yeah, but we can finish our talk later after we've reached the castle. Hey, Peach. Welcome, welcome. So we're having strength and speed level ups. God damn. Yeah, that's sick. That is pretty sick. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't have glasses on today, which is weird for me. I haven't worn contacts in a long time, so you'll probably see me squinting a lot. But uh, yeah, no glasses today. Uh, Soren did not die on Roadside Battle Tonga. He died on um, the defend chat, not the defend chapter we just did, but the first one. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was a it was a, a mistake on my part. Well, that was well, that was cryptic. <laughs> What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest? Uh, should we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. Bjork are such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any lagoos worth his claw could cross it in a single bound. Leith, mm, it is the truth. If you uh, persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. Yes, you are my subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. What's wrong is wrong. You are a fierce warrior, Leith. Uh, but when it comes to the Bjork, you are far too stubborn. What did you say? Mordecai, weren't you ready to murder a kid earlier because he was a little racist toward you? Come on now, both of you, let's calm down. Mordecai? Wait. What is it? That smell in the wind, it's iron. It's the smell of weapons, the smell of Bjork, heavily, ar heavily armored as well. Are you sure? General Katoff, the Crimean mercenaries have entered our area of operations. Ha, they're trapped. Call every last man. Prepare for battle. Uh, we stopped the enemy here. A little racist. All right, a lot racist. But the point is, the point is, he was ready to murder him for it. He's the CEO. Black armor, they're Dan men, all right. You're saying that some sort of invasion force is still around? And worms. They strut about the Gallian forests as though they own them. Uh, as though they own them. I won't stand for it. Grr, the castle to the south. Many Bjork inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Ha! Understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you do well to capture the runes uh, in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're gonna fight. Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't. Uh, I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good, we could use the help. Like, everyone's here. Alright, let's go. I want you two to take Mist and Rolf and retreat to the rear. Of course. We're counting on you, be careful. Everyone who could fight, grab a weapon. Grow mercenaries, move out. This isn't an Iron No, Blue Island, it's an Iron Man. What the? You can see Sora down there. He's, uh, he's deceased. I guess he cut, cut off our uh, path ahead. Whoa, true though. True.
Um, okay, we can bring everybody. I don't think there's really any items. Uh, now, the, the way that I normally do this chapter... Oh, God. Trying to click the characters is very difficult. Is to have Titania go toward the water. Oh, my God. This is so hard. Go there, Void. Okay. Um, now, does she have Vulnery? Okay, let me give her, like, another, like, a more full Vulnery. Because she won't have a healer where she's going. Oh, look at all these Dude, look at all these Vulneries. Holy shit. I will say, the fact that everyone just, like, starts with a Vulnery in this chat, in this game, other than her, obviously, it's actually pretty nice. And that one stupid bandit? <laughs> yeah. You having difficulty with the cursor? I don't know. I... I'm not really sure. It's it's always been a problem for me. Like when I go reposition and then I, I click like like I'll click one to the right and it'll do that. I click one to the left and it does that. You know what I mean? Like I'm just clicking once. I, I don't know why it does that. It's not too bad. You eventually figure it out, but it's weird. I, I don't really know. But yeah, let's do it. Like Mist, you and Rolf stay clear out of here. Stay back, no matter what. Stay back! No, like, we're, uh, we're gonna fight with you, both of us. What? No, that's not gonna happen. Be serious, miss. The two of you can't even wield weapons. Controller using? Uh, I'm currently using an Xbox controller. I think I used to use a GameCube controller, and I think I had the same problem. But maybe not. Maybe it just thinks it should be a GameCube controller. But I'm currently using an Xbox controller. Rolf time? Rolf time, indeed. Rolf gaming, if you will. I've got this. A heal staff? Yeah. I made race teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries, I mean, just little ones, but still, little ones, no, there's no way I'm letting you on the battlefield, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here too. Rolf, stop being such a brat, you little twerp. <laughs> I'm gonna fight too, I'm good with a bow. Really, that's news to me. Is that the best lie you could come up with? <laughs> that's no lie. He's right, that's right, he's not lying. Of course he is. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's always practicing with his bow, and he's really good, aren't you? I sure am. When did you learn to use a bow? Well, let's see. Um, I guess I just sort of picked it up naturally. Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. <laughs> you can't just pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm just a prodigy because I learned it all myself. You little... You don't know anything, Boyd. That's right. This is ridiculous. You booger-eating brat. <laughs> Enough. You two go back. No, we don't want to. All Rolf and I do is sit and wait and worry about all of you. We're tired of waiting. We want to fight by your side. Is that so? How about it, Rolf? Is that how you feel, too? Uh-huh. No doubt. We'd rather be with you. <sighs> what now, Commander? We take them with us. We're too pressed for time to sit around uh, sit around here bickering. And at least they're nearby. They'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes. You won't regret this, Ike, I promise. I hope not. Booker eating bread. <laughs> oh, there's a mist. Yeah, there's also a mist. She's here. The three books always remind me of Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't think Radiant Dawn... I haven't played either of these games in a bit, but I don't think Radiant Dawn has the same problem using, like, the same controllers. Uh, but I, like I said, I haven't played in a while. So at this point, we get a level 1 Archer and a level 1 Cleric, which is not amazing. Um, but Mist is actually pretty useful just because, again, Mist and Rice... There is a healer much later on in the game, but unless you promote mages, Mist and Rice are the only two healers for, like, most of the game. So even though Mist looks pretty crappy, she's actually pretty valuable. Unless you promote mages early, which, which is a pretty good thing to do. And then Rolf just sucks, but I do want to do the triangle deck, so... It's full of potential. She also has Miracle, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't think Rolf has anything. Nope. NBA standings question? Okay. <laughs> what's your what's your question? Do the Bucks suck? Was was hiring Doc Rivers a mistake? I think I can answer those questions pretty uh pretty efficiently. That's what Wimby and the Spurs only have nineteen do they only have nineteen wins? Wow. It's a rough look. I think uh I think the Spurs suck. <laughs> I think Wemby will be fine. I think he's uh, he's amazing, but the the Spurs obviously are not very good. We'll see. Um, I don't want to do this. So you also have Lethe and Mordecai here, who you can't control yet. We'll be able to next chapter, but you can direct. I I usually like to have them go down here because the the only like time pressing 
aspect to this chapter is getting to these villages before some pirates spawn and destroy them. So Ike needs to go back here to recruit Marcia, and then I usually like to just have them go like over here. Direct is also pretty annoying in this game because in Radiant Dawn, even if you've already moved your Lord, you can still click on them and direct. Whereas in this game, if you forget to direct when you move your Lord, you just can't do it for the turn, which is really annoying. First level of chapter 18 because I left him in Rage Man enemy mate. So he was popping is what you're saying. Detroit's 13 and 65? Holy fuck. Well, the Spurs are better than them, I guess. Holy shit. I haven't focused too much on the, the NBA. I'll probably watch when the playoffs start, but uh, all I know is the, uh, the Bucks stink. That's all I know. Scoot is superior. 21 wins. Goddamn, they're popping. Yeah, you can't Nintendo Direct unless, uh, unless they move. <laughs> Base Rolf is an O-code co in Chapter 19. Yeah, the enemies, especially offensively, are pretty weak. That's for sure. I did watch the uh, the NCAA, both NCAA championships, actually. Although they were both kind of kind of letdowns, to be honest. But unless you like, I guess, South Carolina or... Yukon, then I guess they weren't, but. Oh, nice. It was a pretty weak uh, level up for Titania, unfortunately, but. We're crazy with the enemies in Radiant. Yeah, Radiant Dawn is very different. The enemy quality in Radiant Dawn, like you said, is much higher. It's very strong. I mean, the, the, the thing about this game is, like, the overall stats, I think, are still pretty high, but it's, it's mostly just in their bulk. Like, Radiant Dawn enemies are, like, some of the bulkiest, or, sorry, Path of Radiant enemies are, like, some of the bulkiest, I'd say, in, like, the whole series. It's just offensively, they're, like, pretty weak. Especially when you get into, like, the Paladin portion of the game, which is the late game. But, like, when you're fighting just straight up, like, Paladins and Wyverns, oh my god, you can't kill anything. It's insane. By the way, yeah, they're just going to teach me how to use the direct thing. I know how to do it. I know. I'm smart. And there's a shot against winning uh, winning Chicago or beating Chicago. You know what I'm worried about? That the uh, the Bucks are going to play the, uh, the Heat in the first round and lose. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Oh my god, Wheelie, the, um, it was insane. So I, I started watching after the first quarter, and apparently they were winning after the first quarter, and they were still, it was still close at half. Um, apparently, what, what's, I can't remember her name now, the, the big star, the big three-point shooter, just went off in the first quarter. She had like 16 points or something, but holy crap. She was pretty cold in that second quarter, and then that, that second half, especially that fourth quarter, I mean, they were playing so sloppy. Like, they were just running down the court, and they would immediately just take any look. It, it was... I don't know, man. It was it was tough to watch, honestly. Like, it was rough. The weapon effectiveness... Yeah, the weapon effectiveness is really bad in this game. That's for sure. And the... um, I don't really know much about the women's uh, college basketball, but the, the really tall woman on South Carolina, whose name I can't remember now... Oh my god. I mean, Iowa just had no answer for her. Like, I'm pretty sure if she shot a little bit better, South Carolina would have scored like 150 points and gotten every single rebound. Like, it was just... They were very outmatched. I think once the threes stopped going in, it was just... Yeah, it was a... It was a pretty brutal game. The men's was kind of like that too. The UConn really just dominated Purdue. Like the produce big guy did some stuff, but other than that, it was it was a rough look. I think I need to back up here. I don't think I can really fight. The, I mean, hmm, like how much do you take? Eight. I can't quite kill. I mean, I could. I think backing up for a turn is probably advisable here. Just to take a little bit less pressure. 
and let Boyd take some hits. Unfortunately, our team is not particularly strong. What about with you? I don't double, but I also don't get hit that hard. I don't want to do this. So eight, 10, uh, yikes. Eight plus 10. I mean, I don't die. That's the, the really big thing. Okay, I, I'm willing to do this. So we go here and then we like hand ax. Okay, it's not amazing, but I want the most damage I can get and I can just heal with rice next turn. Oh, you Dude, I, I bet WNBA NBA games are pretty uh, are pretty fun to, to go to. Yeah, and see Clark. I'm curious about Clark, yeah, because, man, like, she just... I don't know, man. I, I She really shit the bed in, in that game, to be honest. Like, But the thing the thing that I think is really appealing about Clark and the, and the thing that I think is amazing is, like, she's like the female version of Seth Cur or Steph Curry, you know? Like, she was, she was pulling up some of those shots from, like, way downtown. And she made one um, that was really amazing. So, yeah, I can imagine her in the pros, like, being really, really fun to watch. But that'd be cool. I bet it'd be fun to go to WB game. Another appreciation for Boyd's bulk. Our Boyd, our Boyd may be really weak, but he is actually pretty bulky, which I like. Okay, I need to catch this guy, like, now. Um, I'll probably just let these guys do whatever they want now. I'm not, uh, I don't watch, uh, basketball as much as I, like, I, I watch a lot of football, but I don't really watch that much basketball, but going to, like, I think going to a live basketball game is, is the most fun, like, sports game to go to. Although I've never been to a hockey game, and I, I, I've, I've heard those games are really fun, but, uh, basketball I think is the most fun sport to watch live. It's amazing. I went to a herd game a little while ago and it was a lot of fun. And the, I went to a Bucks game, I think last year. It was super fun. The Warriors versus the Lakers in the playing game. Haven't the, the Lakers won like a bunch in a row? I don't want to do this. If I could somehow kill... I don't think it's crazy. You can't kill here, right? That's just not a thing. No. How much damage do you do? <laughs> Three! <laughs> Three! Oh, what a joke. Nine, and then... Oh, but I get doubled? But if I move Ileana there, I need I need to commit. I mean, there's no, there's no half-assing that. Maybe we just back up for one more turn and see what happens. They're all gonna go heal, though, I think, which is annoying. Ain't making it, yeah. You bring the girl boss end game <laughs> and Mia and Mist, yeah, yeah, we're getting there. Although, we're gonna have some burly boys uh, eventually with Gay Tree. <coughs> some people, yeah, I don't know. I I've never, those kinds of games, I've never really understood too much. I think I'll just let you guys just roam. But I, I honestly, I've always really struggled. Soccer, I think, can be okay. I've always really struggled with hockey. I can't follow the puck in hockey, man. I, I never know where the puck is. <laughs> I'm just lost the second the game starts. Yeah, I, I guess we should just back up, right? There's no reason to, like, risk anything too crazy here. So it's action all the time? Yeah. Especially watching it live. That's what I mean about watching it live. Like, there's just, there's so much. Like, there's always something to be watching, something happening. Like, I think... I've seen some football games too, and I've seen some baseball, but for me, like, basketball is the most fun to watch. It's just, it's always exciting. Like, there's just always stuff going on, always stuff to root for. I love it. But watching it, like, live, yeah, I definitely prefer the uh, football. Like, American football, but that's just me. Okay, I guess we're good. Start to cry like kids at the slightest falls. Yeah, that's definitely not a great look. The NBA kind of has some of that too with the whole like flopping. 
people really don't like that but yeah i think i think part of it part of it for me and this goes for like any sport is that one of the the most fun reasons to watch a sport is because you're invested right and in order to be invested you have to understand like the narratives the ramifications stuff like that i think that's why a lot of people don't like you know there's all the memes about like women's you know um sports being like less popular but it's also the reason i think that a lot of the like the american football leagues fail the like ones that spring up because if you don't have that tradition if you don't have that like that um that reason to watch and to root root for the players and the teams like so i think i think i would enjoy soccer more if i understood the like the narratives about it a little bit more like, that's why i love football so much because i like i feel like i understand all the teams you know you know wh whether actually watching the games is boring you know that was a good level up actually for uh for him Don't choose you to oh with soccer yeah i could see soccer also being a lot more fun to watch in person i feel like yeah it's, it's a lot easier to like get into the game i think baseball is also more fun to watch in person but that's usually just because you drink and have a good time but um yeah and i've heard that hockey's amazing when you when you watch it in person but i have never done so myself let's see now where are they ah i found them hi marcia i know that was a good not only strength but also skill that, that was actually a very He's got 14 defense. Why does he have 14 defense? All right, you need to recruit Marcia and probably not be there anymore. I will vulnerary. Yeah, Vin, that's a good point too. If you're invested, like, from a young age, obviously it'll be dramatically different. Like, if you feel... I think you have to find a team. Like, for me, like, I root... I have a team in, in all the major sports, so that's a part... That's a huge part of it for me. Like, I'll always... If the if the Bucks or the Brewers or the Packers are playing, like especially a big game, like in the playoffs, I'm gonna be interested. Whereas I don't really have that in other sports, you know? Or like the Badgers in college, you know. With the I don't know about every league. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about, Wheelie. I think so. I also think that's kind of boring. Yeah, there's there's like some some of those are yeah, just based off standing at the end of the at the end of the day. Like they don't have championships, I think. But I'm not as familiar with those. Ten strength at level one Oscar. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's really rough. That's the Oscar special, unfortunately. I need to kill this guy. I don't think I can kill this guy, though. I kind of messed this up. <laughs> Mia's damage is always funny to me. Do you double me? Oh, fuck me. I need to kill this guy. Um, I didn't realize this guy was the most terrifying person on the goddamn planet. Holy shit. Alright, let's do this. Can I protect Rolf here? Um... Loser 11 year when he streaked to club. Oh, really? That's weird, Taga. Yeah. That's what, that's one of the most exciting parts about the, about sports, right? Years living. Yeah. That's, yeah, Blue Island. I think that's a great point. That For me, that's a huge part of why I love it, too. Like, I like watching it, too. I think everyone does. But it's it's the narratives, it's the plot lines that really intrigue me. And I think that that's what clicked for me as well way back when, when I first started. Because I was like that, too. I When I grew up, I was not into sports. Like, my dad was. But I, did, I didn't. I had no interest in sports. But, yeah, I think, I think for us, I don't know, maybe more like nerdy people. When you start viewing sports more as, like... Like plot lines, storylines. I guess maybe it's it's not just it's not just like nerdy people, but it's I think it becomes a lot more exciting. So I could kill here, but hold on, do you double me? I she does double Rolf, so that doesn't really work. But she don't double me, because you do get weighed down by one. So I think instead of risking this, it's probably better if I just do this. As much as I don't want to do this.
Little Boston Pizza to Vancouver Pizza. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and then yeah, heal me and then we should be good. Yeah, Wheelie, exactly. I guess from a uh, from uh, cause like you said, there are definitely pros to it. it it's definitely not as exciting. It you know what it reminds me of a little bit actually. Um, I don't know if it works this way in all battle royales, but I've watched a decent amount of Apex Legends esports. Apex Legends is like a, a battle royale, and the way battle royales work is like you just accrue points over the course of like six games, let's say, and then whoever has the most points wins. But that's not that exciting. It does mean the better team, the more consistent team wins, but it's not that exciting, right? So they have this match point format where you get to a certain amount of points, let's say 50 points based off of like your games, and then you have to win a game and then you win the tournament. And it's a lot less like, it means the better team loses more often, but it's way more exciting for the crowd. So there are there are definitely pros and cons to doing something like that. I, I would agree, but it's way, like the Super Bowl is way less consistent. The best team does not win the Super Bowl every year. In fact, far from it. But it's way more exciting than um, than like uh, yeah, just accruing points and then and also you get into situations where you get to the last week of the season and there's no chance that you know anything will change. <laughs> Oscar's just like a weird, he's like a wall, <laughs> but his offensive stats are questionable. <laughs> When's the Fano Apex Legends stream? Dude, I, I haven't played Apex in a long time. Uh, yeah, in a long time at this point. I used to, when that game first came out, I used to play it like every night with a friend of mine. I do really like that game. I think the game's a lot of fun. Ike, you, you're that. That's right, it's me, Marcia. As promised, I'm here to pay my debt. I'm going to join your group. Join us, but I thought you were one of the holy Pegasus knights of Benyon. <laughs> I, re <laughs> I resigned. So what do you say? Are you going to let me come with you or what? Come on. Are you sure about this? I mean, I'll be honest with you. We're a destitute band of mercenaries. Your wages will be a pittance compared to what you're used to. So what? Are you saying no? No, I'm simply uh, pointing out that you'll be losing almost all of... I won't lose out on anything. Plus, I'll work twice as hard as anyone else. Come on, please let me join, please. Well, I, if it's what you want, I guess we'll give you a shot. We're shorthanded though, so you're gonna be busy. Huzzah, that's great. Just tell me what needs doing. Hi, Marcia. Oh, I love these guys. Yar har ho. Yar har ho. <laughs> Scallywags of the sea, are we? We like, uh, we fight like beasts and men do flee. We earn our gold with axes bold. Yar, ye scurvy bilge, bilge rat? Why aren't you singing? Har over there, Nadat, Nadata, Nadada. Uh, fix your eyes on that. Do you see what I sees? Oh, what's this then? Humans battling humans. We're in, uh, here in Gallia. What in the briny beard of Shanty Pete is going on? Oh, do you think they may uh, be the king's curs out to capture us and claim the bounty? Arr. Shall we unfurl the mainsail and steer for calmer waters? Bite your tongue, ye kelp-brained idiots. We're pirates. We don't turn tail from the government scum. <laughs> from government scum. I'm going ashore. Watch me and you'll see a true sea dog in action. <laughs> Yar, well said. You <laughs> I love these guys. You've set me blood a boil. I'm here with you all the way, matey. Arr. Let's see what we can see then. Yar, my axe is sharp and my spirit is bold. Yar har ho. Yar har ho. <laughs> oh, I love those guys. Oh, I wish you could recruit this guy. Although he's, he's terrible. Oh, man. Fortnite in a Warzone guy. I think it's just, um, it just depends on like what your friends want to play. My friends are always really into Apex. I don't like, I don't like building in Fortnite. Although I do play no build mode with a friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> nut dad, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I do play uh, no build mode with a friend of mine sometimes. And it's kind of fun. I actually love Fortnite. That game is like a fever dream. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, Marcia's nuts. I, I don't know if I'm going to use Marcia just because I want to try a lot of meme units, but Marcia is insane. Her bases are ridiculous, her growths are ridiculous, her class is ridiculous. There's really not much to not like about her. Oh, see, fair. I thought when I was a kid, I thought for sure you could. there was some way to recruit him. 
It, it's so rare, especially in these early games, that you just have, like, a named unit like that. Especially that's such a, like, unique class and stuff. But yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I really want these people to know they're pirates. Somebody was having a great time with the pirate speech. Because there's a chapter earlier where there's a bunch of pirate speech, too. Somebody was having a great time. <laughs> I recruit him by being absorbed into Titania. <laughs> Um, oh, you need to, yeah, damage this guy. Yeah, exactly, because there is, um, because Largo's, uh, uh, whatever they promoted it, and there's some enemies that are the promoted class, so. Nibble of Fortnite's fun? Yeah, I, I think so. And like I said, Fortnite is so weird. There's just, there's so many, like, IPs in that game now. Like, you die to Goku, and then you fight Peter Griffin, and then you... My, my friend was, like, really into Peter... We had to go fight Peter Griffin every time we spawned in. It's wild, man. I, I love Fortnite. Like a recruitment... Yeah. It's kind of sad. They added the less airbenders today? Wait, did they really? <laughs> Maybe I have to play Fortnite, dude. That's sick. So now I can die to uh, to Aang and uh, and Zuko and Katara. Wait, can I die to Katara or Toph? Oh my God, the possibilities are endless. Mordecai, you got to figure something out here, bud. You're not looking so hot. <laughs> Lady Gaga getting sniped by Venom while Vegeta hits the gritty. Now that's my game. <laughs> now that's what I want to play. It's wild out there, man. I'm telling you, I was I was pretty shocked. When I played it, because I have I hadn't played it in you know since it came out basically in a long time, and it, it was it's a wild video game. With their elements, wait, that's one of the other things that I think that game does great is like when they do. I remember the the they had come out with some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing, and my my friend was really into using the like you could get the like oh fuck I forgot to direct with Ike. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's it's just that game is wild. Did you actually miss? Ah, oh, that's this is bad. This is kind of bad. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't miss there. Obviously, I think he's probably still a you know, seventeen seven. Uh, I don't know. Sick damage. Keep it up. Well, Mordecai should move after me, right? I don't know. This is a little sketchy. Here. Only you can get to me? 17. Alright, let's do that. Tof the blind builder. That is a good point. That is true. <laughs> I love that game. It's so wild. I don't have any, like, special skins or anything myself. But that's what's great about that game is, like... You don't... I mean, I, I guess it's maybe cooler if you have some, like, special stuff. My friend has, a. Uh, He's he's got a, like a Darth Maul skin, so he always plays as Darth Maul, which is very silly. But yeah, no, that game is that game's amazing. <laughs> Sick, you needed that two health. Which should be fine, especially with Mordecai killing the other guy. I should direct Mordecai and Leith, because I don't need them anymore. You do have to be a little bit careful. I don't actually know if Mordecai or Leith die in this chapter, if you still get them on the next chapter. I would assume you don't, especially at Maniac, but I don't actually know for sure. Not that it matters too much, because they're pretty strong and they, you know, they won't normally die, but... Alright, let's visit the houses. Ooh, she only has... and then a pull... Ooh, how much does the poleaxe weigh? 18. Ugh. Okay, this is a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Eeky humans, yeah! Um, erk, erk, ah, oh, come on. You were so rude. If you can't tell, I'm playing dead, so go away. Why? Because my mother told me, if you ever meet a Bjork, play dead, and it will leave you be. It's not true, is it? It's... I knew it wasn't true. I knew it. Well, then take this and get out of here quickly. I hate humans. You don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. It's... Shoo! Thank you for restore, though. That was nice of you. I don't really know why I need that right now, but I appreciate it. Can I heal you this turn? I could shove. I'd have to double shove. Why don't you guys come like over here so I can heal you? 
Super Dragon Ball skins? Yeah, the Dragon Balls, the Dragon Ball ones are great. Cute cat girl villager. <laughs> Cute cat girl villager indeed. And she gave me her sword. I think she likes me. Uh, okay, so you have a night killer, right? Yeah. Let me scroll. Hope Jatani is gonna be okay over here. The nice thing is I gave her a bunch of healing items, but the the Polak's weighing her down a bunch is a little sketchy, if I'm being honest. Well, nobody can deal any damage to this guy, so Boyd, you're gonna have to kill that guy. Boyd is doing a pretty darn good job keeping up here. You don't double no matter what? Why do you have 11 crit? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I still don't know, but I, I did crit. Why do you have 11 crits? Why does he have so much crit? Oh, does he have like support with Void or something? I don't know. Let me shove you and then you should be able to get the kill. So Rolf actually comes with, I didn't mention this, but Rolf, <coughs> Rolf actually comes with Rolf's bow, which is a like specifically forged bow for him. I think it's pretty nice level up. I think it's pretty shit, to be honest. Like, if I remember correctly, it basically is just the same as an iron. It's like slightly stronger than an iron bow. But you can wield it immediately, which is nice. And uh, that's about where that extends. Train. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad idea to train her. I'll definitely try. The only other option really is Tormud, and uh, we don't get him for a while. So I think training Iliana is a fine idea. Void support? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, I don't think I can save that village. Oh shit, what's in that village? Those have hidden 10 plus 10 crit. Ah, I didn't I didn't know that actually. That's kinda cool. Alright, well I'll do this. I don't know if that guy's actually gonna turn around and attack me or if he's gonna destroy the village, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, that's true. I forgot all about Celerity. Yeah, Celerity is actually really valuable in this game. In Radiant Dawn, you can just take off Celerity and give it to somebody else. But in this game, so Celerity is just plus two movement. Tarma just has plus two movement. Um, sick Marcia. Man, this is the best character in the game? Nah, this character sucks. Uh, which is um, really good. <coughs> it, makes, uh, it makes training him quite a bit easier than it would be otherwise. And considering how late he's recruited, you definitely need all the help you can get with uh, training him. It's a talisman? Okay. It's in the other world if we miss it. Resistance isn't like that crucial in this game, but it would be nice to get it. Sick. Uh, I'll give a kill, kill for Mia, why not? Jesus Christ. The damage. You can tell how low damage is in this game. The fact that Mia and Marcia, like, they don't have a ton of strength, but still, 7 and 8 strength isn't too bad. And they can deal, like, 3 and 5 damage, respectively. It's rough out here for damage. Everyone just has... This guy's 9 defense. We shouldn't need the Lagoos anymore. I can't wait to use Tormund and Radiant Dawn. He's recruited so early, I bet he's amazing. We can use him for the whole game, right? Ah, that's a bummer. All right, no Talisman. It's okay, though. Skellywigs of the sea are we. We earn our gold with Axe's Bold. Ow. I think I'm poisoned now. Oh, counter coming in huge. Most useful uh, ability in this game. Oh, I don't even double. That's unfortunate. Two kids of bond support. One is a critical bi-directional, and the other is a complete negation of listed critical, but generally undirectional. Oh, both are one range only. Like the ranked supports. Ah, one range only is interesting. What does Scallywag even mean? Uh, I don't know. It's just like a, like a. I can't, I can't think of. I can't think of. The, that was a seventeen percent. Wait, wait. Actually, though, I got scammed. Hold up. Scallywag is like a, like a vagrant, maybe? No, not a vagrant. I don't know, an unsavory individual? I, I don't really know. Dude, what, what are all these guys doing here? Oh my god. So many units just spawned. Wigs, they're scally? Yeah, <laughs> that's actually a much better description. They wig, they're scally, duh. 
don't think I want Boyd that close. Well, let's just see if we hit. No big deal if we don't. Oh, <laughs> I guess I was never going to kill. That's okay. Yeah, this is fine. That's good to know, Seafarer, especially considering we have... We're going to be using all three of the brothers, so having access to that and using it consistently is pretty valuable. Um, I don't think I want to do that. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we should be good. Rascal, yeah, yeah, mischievous, that's good, yeah. Yeah, not, not vagrant. Rascal is really good. Wags their scally. <laughs> Bro, stop wagging your scally at me. What's your problem? Is there a sort of context in the U.S.? Oh, Scallywag does? Rascal is a word goes hard as fuck? Yeah, rascal is a pretty sweet word. You rascal! You little rascal, you. I don't know how long it's going to take to actually defeat these enemies. Like, <laughs> Oscar and Boyd's uh, offensive abilities are questionable. Oh, we now have more speed than strength. I don't think this is how Boyd is supposed. I think my Boyd might be broken, and not like, not like, oh my God, Boyd's broken. I mean, I mean, I think our Boyd might be broken. Like he needs to, he needs to go to the hospital. So is it better to? It's probably still better to use the pole. Well, actually, not really. Um. Wait, this guy's just wor this guy's less hit than just the generic pirates. How is that possible? They have five. He has seven? I don't know. That seems weird. I don't I don't know how they have more uh a white southerner who collaborated with northern Republicans during reconstruction, often for personal profit. Wait. By white southern Democrats who oppose reconstruction legislation. Ah, oh, that's kinda gross. <laughs> you little you rascal, you racist rascal, you. Yikes. Yeah, Boyd is, uh, look, he has more speed than, uh, than strength. He's really close. That is a good point. I keep meaning to get rid of the stupid biorhythm thing, but I keep forgetting. One day I will get rid of biorhythm, the double biorhythm on him, but not today, apparently. It's an interesting Boyd. Yeah, I think that is one, uh, one way to call him for sure. Depressing is uh, is another, I think, good way to to call him. Is this safe? I mean, none of you have two range. Oh, there is a javelin there. Slim lance. Eh, I think this is probably fine. Killing the archer is pretty nice. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. I forgot about fire rhythm. Yeah, because he's got top fire rhythm. That is a good point. I again, I always forget about Byrhythm in this game. Once we get to Radiant Dawn, I'll, I'll be a lot more cognizant of it. But actually, Mia sitting there to get attacked by this javelin is actually kind of valuable. So I think I'll have her just sit there. <laughs> but yeah, that is a good point. That is why. I mean, I'd rather avoid have more speed than strength than like none of either, but. Them son or stamina daughter. <laughs> or stamina daughter. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should have given her another axe. Well, that wasn't the pole axe, but it should be okay. The hit on these guys is still like pretty darn low. Titania is a beast. It's crazy she's even poisoned right now, to be honest. Okay, Boyd should be good. 
game, it's like, it's so much more different. Or it's so much different than the like GBA games, you know, like, like a, a fighter with 10 defense can just do, like he can take so many hits because everybody's offensive stats are just so bad. But weapons always hit, that is true actually. That is the golden rule and it does remain true to this day. Actually, killing the data might not actually be that valuable because it was by rhythm, but Scaling Wings of the Sea, are we an end like this is quite worthy? <laughs> Ooh, bunch of experience. What level she's six. I don't know if I think Argentini is probably pretty average. I don't think she's got an amazing level ups, but she's doing okay. It's hard for Titani to ever be that bad. Boyd is not gonna look amazing funny. Well, he actually looks okay. I should make sure we heal him this turn. Okay, Mia, I think you've done your purpose. You've served your purpose. You've served your country. It's a conversation with Largo would have gone crazy. That would have been really funny. I would have listened to that. But this guy deals no damage to Oscar. That's just that's just a thing. Oh my god. We have some weird units. I'm just gonna say that. So for anyone that doesn't know how promotion works in this game, there are master seals. I think there's just a couple over the course of the game. So you can early promote, but everyone promotes once you get them to level essentially 21. So that's how you're gonna promote most units. I, I rarely ever use the master seal to be honest. The Master Seals in um, Radiant Dawn are a lot more valuable, and then the, uh, I don't know what the name is, it's a Master Seal and then Master Crown, I think, to get to third tier, I think. Those, they're a lot better in that game. Strength Mist? Oh my god, that'd be sick, actually. I'm all for that. Best promotion system in the franchise? Yeah, I like this one. Either this one or the the one where it's like just master seals. Well, I don't know. I think they both have advantages and disadvantages. But I definitely like this one. I definitely like just being able to promote everybody. And when you're not playing in maniac mode, it's especially nice because then you can just uh you can promote everybody. Yo ho ho yo ho ho. <laughs> Welcome, Gaskin. <laughs> no glasses? Does that make you think, Matt? Does that make you ponder? Welcome, Matt. Uh, we got speed there. That's pretty good. Kind of want her to get some strength and defense, but I'll take some speed. This is a, this is a no glasses day. His modeling clear career will take off soon. Oh, I bet. Any day now. Hey, if there's any modeling agents in chat, you know. <laughs> ring me up. He has, he has half the, as much magic as he does strength. What the fuck? I mean, I'll take speed. Speed's actually pretty nice, but... For his stats are one of the wackier things I've seen. <laughs> I never liked Master Seals. Yeah, I think I like the just level 20 promotion. It's nice to just be able to promote everybody. Or like the awakening thing where you can just buy promotion items, so you always have access to them. That's pretty nice. For the Flame Lance Oscar? Yeah. <laughs> Flame Lance Oscar. I mean if we don't use uh if we don't use Marcia, then uh, Flame Lance Oscar might be on the table. That was a good level up. Now we're talking. I really don't know if Rolf can ever be like remotely good. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. to be a pacifist. He basically is, to be honest. He just sits there. He faces his best system. Um, is there a difference between fates and, uh, and awakening in the promotions? I don't really remember that well, to be honest. <laughs> what is Rumpel with as much strength as his older brother? That's a good question. As honestly, both of his older brothers is... I don't know, it's kind of sad. Research your level one looking... Oh, interesting. 
encourage interesting choices. I do, yeah, I do think there's strengths and, and like, negatives. I, I do, I kind of like the, uh, the GBA promotion system, but I don't think it's, like, flawless or, like, definitely the way to go. But I do kind of like it. It's interesting. Like, it, it does, it does force very interesting, or at least very, like, specific choices on the player, which I think is a positive. Like, you only get so many promotion items, which is nice. But I think for players that want to, like, do everything in a game, more promotion items is definitely better. He's hella strength blessed. Well, hopefully we can get a little bit of that luck with, uh, with our Rolf. Not with our Rice, apparently. <laughs> well, the Rice has been pretty good this far, to be honest. Support system to gain re- Oh, interesting. I like reclassing. I think reclassing is really cool. There's so many characters that get screwed over by their classes. I think reclassing offers a lot of interesting uh, decisions. Okay, that's a weird level up. I, I guess I'll take some bulk. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but you know. Oh yeah, Thr Thracia I think definitely needs the, uh, yeah, what it has. Ooh. Okay, I see you. I see you, Mist. God damn. <laughs> yeah, Taka, we haven't exactly, we don't really have any unit that's, like, amazing. I mean, Boyd's okay, but yeah, our units have not uh, enjoyed this that much. Any of the reclassing? I don't remember reclassing so much in those games. I remember reclassing in Shadow Dragon. Although I think I pretty rarely do it in that game. It's I think it's just cool to have more options, but... I think some, sometimes, I don't know, on the one hand, like, having a lot of different options is really nice. On the other hand, limiting player options, I think, is also, a, a, can be good. Because it makes more interesting decisions. And I also think it's it's less, like, distracting. Like, it's less difficult to figure out what the hell's going on. But... I'm gonna ride soon enough to carry. Dude, once we get Gaytree and we have the, uh, we have the Knight, uh, the Knight Ward, Gaytree and Braum, bro, we're gonna be chillin'. No amazing units. Look, she hasn't gotten amazing level ups. She is an amazing unit. I mean, these Oscar's an amazing unit, but uh he does have 15 defense now. So you can't argue too much with that. So there's no more two range, because these these guys don't move, so you can kind of do whatever you want. Maybe kill this guy, maybe not. Sure. So they have to bust out a calculator? Yeah. I think it can be a little much. It's also tough, right? Because it's like um, like, how many options do you want to give? How much, like, replayability is there in a game? Because there may be enough options, like, where it's really exciting to replay, but not so much exciting for the first time. I don't know. I like the Sacred Stones thing. I like the decisions on the promotions. But, like, the Sacred Stones promotions don't really matter, you know? Like, they're all kind of the same. They just have, like, slight variations, but it's just fun. I kind of like choices like that, where they affect more like cosmetic gameplay than actual gameplay. But a lot of people I think will find that uninteresting. Wait, can you hit somebody like at some point? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's cool, but uh, just make uh, reclassing just makes units feel more generic. Uh, that's why I don't love it. I think that's a good point too. Like I said, I definitely think there's advantages and disadvantages to all this stuff because that is one of the things, right? Like, I think that happens in. Um, don't people talk about that in three houses? How you're just supposed to reclass to like a certain class? Like an archer or something. I don't know if that's like permanent, but that kind of happens in in um, Shadow Dragon too, where like there's definitely classes that are better than others. I think sometimes, like uh, like you said, like Evo said, it can it can take away characters like 
individual feel by just allowing everybody to be whatever they want. This is a person. Yeah, I think that's a good point too. Ooh, okay. We're popping. I like it. And we're getting some crappy units, some experience. I like that too. So like turn everyone to Draco Knights? Yeah. Which might just be a, a poor implementation of it, to be fair. It might be better implemented in other games, I don't know. But I, I would agree with that. It does kind of feel boring in that regard. And I, I do agree, I do agree with what Eva said. I I, I don't know exactly where I stand on it, because I think there are advantages to it, but I, I do think it takes away. Like, sure, the fact that, like, Marissa is a crap, or, like, me is a crappy unit because she's a crappy class sucks. But, like, she's a Myrmidon, you know? Like, that's her whole point. I don't know if reclassing her would, I feel like it wouldn't make sense. I don't know. It would, like, ruin some of her individuality. Throw my hesitation to try it. Yeah, I think, and I think especially for, like, a first-time player, like, if I'm given a unit and they're an archer, they're supposed to be an archer, right? Oh, my God, Ike. Like, I feel like they should just be an archer, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird to change them to a wyvern or whatnot. The opportunity to... Yeah, I yeah, I kind of like that. And I do think that there's like that's kind of that's the thing about three houses, right? You have like you have access to a lot of different like motion choices and stuff. I think you can kind of make your own stories regarding the characters, which I think is cool. I do think there's advantages. Is a give and take. Yeah, l like you guys are saying, I think when when you can actually when it actually like references the character in some when it reflects the character in some way, and you get to decide not just because that's the thing, right? Like that then that fixes the problem of it of it not making the characters unique because it is it is still unique to that character in some regard. Then I think that works. I think sometimes like the Shadow Dragon approach of just like across the board being able to do anything you want is is a bit boring, but yeah. It's not really a compelling choice, but I think I, I think a lot of newer players will gravitate toward different options that aren't just the most efficient. So I don't, I don't think that's necessarily a complete... Because like, that's the thing about Sacred Stones, right? Like, almost every promotion choice in that game has a pretty clear-cut option, like, efficiency-wise. But I think most people... Like, if you, if you polled everybody, especially the people that don't necessarily, like, want to understand the game on that level, they'll still choose things they just think are cool. And I think you can make narratives for units. Like, when I was a kid playing Sacred Stones, I thought, you know, Ford, for example, was supposed to be a great knight, whereas Franz was supposed to be a... You know what I mean? So I, I think that stuff can still work. Just depends on the how it's implemented. But again, I think there's positives and negatives to it. However you decide to implement it. You need very specific items. I think that's a good way. I think either that's a good way to do it, or certain units can only like like uh Seafarer was saying earlier that it's more like tied to supports, or it has something more to do with the character. I think where reclassing really doesn't work is where you can just make everything anyone like anyone anything you want. Then I that's where I think it and I think we're all, we're all kind of in agreement on that, but that's I think where it like really doesn't work. But I would agree with that. I think that's a good way to do it, or again tied to supports. That's true too. That's true too. Vin, Vin makes a good point. It it is capped. You can't you can't just make literally everybody a wyvern or whatever. That is true. Drill Amelia is bad but fun. Yeah, and there are a lot of people probably that think that like Amelia as a character makes sense to be a general in the end. Um, oh my god, this Mia is kind of popping. Um, so I don't think I don't think that a, of that, and that's one of the things that I think I've I sort of changed my stance on over the years. Like I used to think if Fire Emblem isn't making a great like a uh, choice for the player, like efficiency wise, it's it's making a mistake. But I don't think that's true. I think different players get different, you know, stuff out of the game. 
That's a good point, Kaskin. Yeah, that's a good point. That's true. It depends, I think, on, like, who you are, though. You know what I mean? And, like, what they're trying to appeal to. Like, the, the you know, the Sacred Stones choices, again, I love, I think they're amazing, but there really isn't much to talk about, you know, 20 years later regarding those choices. Must have unfolded my Iron Man runs. Yeah. And that that's like that's like narrative building and stuff, which I think is really that's what keeps people coming back, right? Which I think is pretty fantastic. That's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point too, Seafarer. Like in, in Sacred Stones, part of why it doesn't matter. I mean the, the choices are pretty, you know, inconsequential anyways, but it's just because yeah, the game isn't that difficult. Whereas I think in newer games, yeah, especially on the hardest difficulty, you kind of have to make those decisions. So, I do think, yeah, that plays into it. Players make the stories of the characters, yes, which I agree with quite a bit. And Kaga, I think, also did a really great job of making some weird chapters, but, like, having story influence gameplay really effectively. Especially in stuff like Thracia. Fire Emblem 3, I think, does a great job of that. Even though if you look at the game, like, now, or, like, you look at a lot of the chapters, they're pretty wacky, but I think he was really into that. Are we Mia Gaming? I hope to be, but I, I don't know where that's going to end. Does Mia have more strength than Oscar? I think she does. I think she does. Death to the rogues who defy Dan. Defend our brethren. Erase their shame. I can check, actually, but I'm pretty sure she does. She has nine strength. She has eight, yeah. <laughs> she literally does. That is a wild thing that we just looked at. Have you put out a few dodgy things? Yeah. I mean, he certainly wasn't perfect. There are there are positives and minuses to all this stuff, right? You could say that Kaga made better games, but I mean it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't all great. There are definitely there are definitely negatives to making wacky chapters, even if they are influenced by the story really effectively. So no one likes you, Oscar. Oscar, figure it out. I think we'll just let him Boyd kill this boss. Maybe, maybe if I can get the kill for Ileana, that'd be cool. But I actually think promoting Boyd as quickly as we can is going to be pretty valuable. The next handful of chapters of this game are pretty straightforward, to be honest. But having another uh, promotion, uh, promoted unit will be pretty nice, along with Titania. I think we'll just go like this. So I don't mind giving him the kill. Can you do anything? Two, I think two is not going to be enough, but it might. Okay, NBCs are elite though, right? I mean, he, yeah, I'd agree with that. There are some bangers. <laughs> what is this Boyd? Bro, what are you? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, we give this to Ileana. I don't mind trading Ileana. Yeah, let's do it. Also, actually, now that I think about it, giving stuff to Boyd's probably not that valuable, because he, he's going to get experience on his own. Or er, in the name of the Empire, cleanse my shame. No, no thank you. We have interesting intentions. People remember the 6 out of 10 games? Yeah, I would agree. That's why, honestly, like... When I started playing the early games, like, uh, from 1, 2, 3, 3 really stood out to me. And Thracia has always stood out to me because even though the games are a little funky, they're very interesting, especially in how they um, use uh, gameplay and story, how they tie those together. It's very interesting. I feel like there's a Fire Emblem game made for everyone. Oh, for sure. For sure. No, I, I appreciate that as well. I just want more Fire Emblem, to be honest. There are definitely Fire Emblem games that appeal to me more than others, but yeah, no, I, I always kind of think that too, you know? Games that you don't like, I think, definitely appeal to other people. That's why it's hard for me to say that one game is, like, worse or better than the other, you know? Because I think they appeal to different people, depending on, you know, whether they focus more on the story or the gameplay or the difficulty or, you know, who knows. There's more story integrated mechanics. Yeah, I think it's it's always tough to know, right? And that's that's the thing about like all media is that the the person the person whose name people remember get all the credit. But that's a good point, Seafarer. I think I mean you could definitely see a difference between the first game, the first five games, and the rest of the game. So I, I would credit that to Kaga because that's the person people know. But that is a good point. Who knows how much of that was, you know?
See if Livingston Sony Spence. <laughs> Four moves so we could so we can face nine. Yeah. True. You've been cut off. <laughs> we defeated their commander, but we still don't uh, know what they were after. It seems unlikely they were merely pursuing Princess uh, Alencia. I wonder if Dayan is planning to invade Gallia. Perhaps Crimea was only a stone on which to wet their blades. No matter the motive, the fact remains that Dayan crossed the border. Under such circumstances, hostility between Dayan and Gallia could break out at any time. So it's war again. If war erupts between the Bjork and the Laguz, it's only a matter of time before other nations become involved. Could Dayan truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? If that happens, many of our citizens will be sacrificed in the altar of ambition. Leonardo's gross cat, I hope not. <laughs> it looks that way, though, doesn't it? Christ. Me, uh, we too need to choose which way to move, which side to take. Whose side? We shall never support Dayan. Unthinkable. Captain Titania, we are human. Would you... <laughs> oh, he's gonna be racist again. Would you truly have a side with a sub with Laguz against other humans? That is unthinkable. Bjork and Laguz. Are you gonna sit there and argue about the war that hasn't started? You Bjork are also timid. It's pathetic. Leith, you must not say such things. Le Mordecai, Leith, what do you think? Will it come to war? Our claws are sharp. If Dane invades Gallia, we are ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. I like it not. War brings pain, sorrow. This is troubling. Enough, we've lost much time. Let us make for the palace. <laughs> I don't remember I don't remember who last time described Mordecai as I think it was five Ikes, but it stayed in my head ever since. Uh we must reach tonight's uh tonight's camp before the sun sets. Is the palace still afar? On your skinny Bjork legs uh legs, it is very far. But we can do as we can. Extreme uniformity. That is true. A lot of the a lot of the uh, the original games are very different, whereas yeah, the GBA games are very very uniformed, which I think again is a positive in some regard, right? Because you can play one and have a really good idea of how to play the other ones. But uh, but yeah, just get writer taking control by force. Seems that way. Definitely definitely positives and negatives. Ten to ten to one person, one out of ten to another. Yeah, I can buy that. The it's it's kind of like I I I think um movies are kind of like that for me. Like the yeah, you, you can watch like you watch a hundred movies that are just like bland and you won't remember the next day. But it's the ones you remember, whether it's positive or negative, that uh, that uh, that definitely stick in your mind. It's like ridiculously conservative. Yeah. Yeah, and I think there are positives to that, like I said. Like, I wouldn't... To a newer player, for example, I would... Actually, my friend was just talking about um, playing Fire Emblem when I recommended Awakening and Sacred Stones. I would never recommend any of the original games. And part of that's that they're older, but a big part of it is... I think we all know why you wouldn't recommend Thracia to a player, a first-time player. My Lord Ike, everyone, Princess Alencia, I heard about Commander Grail. I, I don't know what to say. Don't worry, we're all right. We're getting by somehow. Oh, Ike, the king has arrived. Um, hey there. <laughs> How many Ikes is this guy? <laughs> Thank you for coming to Gallia Palace. I am Kinegis, ruler of the Kingdom of Gallia. These are the Grail mercenaries. I am Ike, their commander. You have been raised well, young pup. I didn't recognize you. What? When you were, uh, when you were here, you were still a small child. Is that you, Titania? It's good to see you. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. Uh, the two of you are friends? How, how does the king know me? Hmm. I have something I must tell you about your father, Grail. Leith Mordecai, leave us now. Prepare room so our guests may have a place to rest and heal their wounds. At once, my lord. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess. I would have you stay. And this one also will stay. Hi, oh, Gifka. <laughs> this is Gifka, my shadow. Pay him no more heed than you would the heir. Understood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would have uh, Titania and Soren stay with me as well. Me? So be it. Now then, where to begin? A lot of people used to think that Soren was a woman. I definitely, when I was a kid, I mean, you just have to hear him refer to him as he once, but when I was a kid, I definitely, him and uh, Lucius from uh, Final Fantasy VII, I definitely thought were uh, female. She from Girl Lord uh, called Soren his waifu? Well, is he still your straight friend, or? <laughs> I was gonna confused by Soren, yeah, yeah. Because if, if Martha was in uh, Boy or Girl because of the tiara, that's funny. 
Titania, how much did Grail tell uh, his son? I was raised with no knowledge of Gallia whatsoever, nor does he recall ever having been here. Is that so? Then it's best for me to tell him all that I know, although that is not much. That's all right. Whatever you can tell me would be much appreciated. I want to know more about my father. Mm, you have good eyes, honest and brave. I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father, worked as a mercenary for Gallia. We forged a strong bond, he and I. To speak truly, I still do not trust the Bjork, but your father was different. Prince Zalentia's father, King Raman, and his brother, Lord Renning, were also a different kind. All are or were exceptional men, men whom one could put his trust in. Oh ho, Titania, you are an exception as well. <laughs> Among Bjork females, you are quite unique. <laughs> You're most gracious, Your Majesty. My father was a mercenary for Gallia? Correct. And you and your sister, you were both born here in Gallia. You stayed only for a short time, but part of your childhood was spent within these borders. Miss and I were born here, is that so? I don't remember any of this at all. I feel your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them, I'm sure of it. Once, over ten years ago, and after your mother had been slain, your father cho chose to leave Gallia. Before he left, I went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? But I was unable, unable to loosen his tongue. And then I heard he had returned to Gallia, and I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. If I had been faster, if I had hastened my steps, perhaps things would have gone differently. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard, that was you, wasn't it? His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best not to interfere in his final moments, so I remained hidden. Tell me, Ike. At his last, did he confess anything to you? The identity of the Black Knight? Sorry, the identity of the Burger King? Did he reveal it? The Burger King? No. I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command. Told me to trust King Kenegis and live peacefully in Gallia. You know, I've never seen the Burger King and Kenegis in the same room together. Interesting. He said to forget everything else. Is that so? Well then, let me do as I can. If any of your mercenaries desire to live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouchsafe them, I will vouchsafe them uh, home and land. Your kindness is truly appreciated, but speaking of for myself, I couldn't live here in peace, not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so quickly forget the past or the Burger King. But Ike, that's not, I know, I'm not, I'm not strong enough uh, yet. An opponent who could defeat my father is well beyond my reach. I already, uh, he, Ike already has the advantage of having a uh, weapon triangle at least neutral with him, so that's good. But that's why I've devoted myself to growing stronger. I will lead my father's mercenaries and prepare for the day when my chance for revenge arrives. Prudent courts of actions. You look as though, you look as one um, who would be more impulsive, but you are Grail's son after all. Is it charge of the Tellius story? I don't know. I don't know, but I do like the story in this game. <laughs> I recommend Farmable 12 Hard 4 to start. <laughs> that's a good place to start. Can you imagine? Oh my god. No one would ever play Fire Emblem if that's where everyone had to start. You matured, Ike. It seems like yesterday that you were merely a child, Titania. And now I I would ask a boon of you. The strength of your mercenary band, Ike, would you lend it to Princess Alencia? Are you serious? King Kinegis. Gallia and Crimea are allied nations. That cannot be denied. However, this alliance in reality binds only the royal families. It is not respected by our ordinary citizenry. People of Gallia are seldom seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have little understanding of the Lagoos. Many of our people still use that undignified uh, name, subhuman, when they speak of the Lagoos. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow over what you describe. More than any king in history, he wanted to deepen relations between our people, and then... I, yeah, I think FE7, FE9 are great, uh, are great. I think you can start... I think you can recommend pretty easily, like... Yeah, seven, seven, eight, nine. I think are all really good places to start. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh yeah, Kinegis is a beast. Yeah, I like Fireball Six. Fireball Six still remains, uh, still has a lot of the difficulty that Thracia had, not in the same regard, but you know. Oh, the Guidance in Fire Emblem 6 are terrible. I, I also love Fire Emblem 6, but the Guidance in Fire Emblem 6 are some of the worst chapters in the series, straight up. They're awful. Yeah, it's just it's just a little too long, I think. I think the other GBA games did a much better job of trimming a lot of the fat that Fire Emblem 6 had. Perhaps that is why Dan targeted him. Their uh, hatred of the Lagoos is well known. Could it be? 
In my heart of hearts, I would like to take guardianship of Princess Alencia and, al and assist in the rebuilding of Crimea. However, anti-Bjork sentiment is running high here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe harbor to Alencia, I feel many of our elder statesmen would protest. It would say that we are giving Dayan an ideal excuse to attack, which means Gallia can't offer Princess uh, Alencia any relief at all, is that it? Unfortunately, it is true. My lord, I, King Kinegis has advised me to turn to ben the Benyan Theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should make Benyan a formal request and gain the support of their shields. Passage to Benyan will require several months at sea, an escort will be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So if the princes were willing to hire us as an escort, it would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titania, Soren, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer, what do you say? Uh, it's what you want, right, Commander? Well then, it's our job to follow you. However, you wish to proceed is fine with me. Uh, I will do all in my power to entrust that you that our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail Mercenary shall assume the honor of serving as escort to Princess Crimea. Princess Alencia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Go to the desert. I agree, Kaskin. I actually don't mind the desert in Fire Emblem 6. The desert... Arcadia, I think, is actually a fine chapter. Yeah, I hate the bridge. I hate a lot of the chapters in that game, to be honest. Tools are not generally getting to the series? Yeah, I can believe that. My goodness. Just so I guess I know how it went. I, I could see... I could see people getting in on Shadow Dragon. I don't know. Definitely the Fire Emblem Seven is a great place because uh, they have the tutorial. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend the DS games for sure. <laughs> and heroes does it enjoy long maps. Yeah, I can I can believe that. I thought Echoes was really good. I think Echoes is a pretty good place to start. I think any any game with like an overworld for the person to use, and that's why I like Awakening and Sacred Stones, and Echoes I think is a good example too. I think an overworld really helps players, um, but yeah. Like here's his canon. Well, here's just his own story, right? So... We summon... Oh, I don't know. Promise Bridging... Yeah, well, what does it mean by canon, exactly? Because here's just his own story, right? I, I don't really know what canon means, exactly, in that regard. Thank you very much. Uh, I only pray that I, in turn, may be worthy of your service. Those players to die... Yeah, I would agree. I would agree, Dino, for sure. I think Shadow Dragon isn't too bad. A lot of people don't like the way the, the DS games look, but as long as you don't mind that so much, I think Fire Emblem 1's a reasonable place to, to start. Not the original Fire Emblem 1. I don't think people want to play that. Although, I actually think that game's pretty fun, but... Hey, Ike, I heard you're leaving... Uh, I heard you're going to Benyan. Hello, Renolf. I was hoping I'd see you. I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. I'm glad to have the chance to... Before I leave. Well, aren't you the dutiful one? Hey, that reminds me, you were born here in Gallia, right? I knew there was something odd about you. You're awfully friendly for a Bjork, you know that? Oh, you might not know, but a Bjork is what... I know what it means. That's what you call us humans, right? Oh, knew that, did you? Well then, let me tell you something else. When you use the word human, <laughs> we don't... Uh, we mean it much the, the way you Bjork do when you call us subhuman. Oh, really? It's an insult to be called human? I'm glad you told me. I never would have guessed. I should warn you, if you run across any Lagoos who call you that, be careful. They are no friend of yours. Got it, thanks. I won't forget. But I've uh, digressed long enough. Let me explain why I'm here. Hmm? Princess Alencia, may I have a moment of your time? Uh, yes, of course. The king asked me to... As that I give you this. Please accept it as a gift. What, may I ask? Within the leather pouch is 20,000 gold pieces. Jesus, Bjork currency, of course. Oh, I truly appreciate this generate... Uh, I too... I can't talk. I truly appreciate this generous offer, but a gift of this magnitude is not something I can accept. King Kanangus has already done so much, uh, so much more than necessary. The king is ashamed that he cannot, at this time, provide any personal, uh, personnel support. Please, will you accept this apology and acknowledge his desire to aid you? But, no? Well then, let's try this. Yes? You accept the king's gift. Then, as payment for conducting, uh, for conducting you safely to Gallia, you hand over to Ike. Um, 
Wait, did I read that right? I don't think I read that right at all. I think I'm losing my mind. Come on, Renolf. You can't accept. Uh, you can't expect her to accept this, and it's an outrageous fee, no matter how you look at it. Twenty thousand gold pieces for the life of a princess. Pretty reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. In fact, it almost borders on insulting. Considering how you have suffered, the lives you've lost, ten, no, a hundred times, uh, this amount would not be unreasonable. Uh, I have reconsidered. I will accept the king's kindness. In turn, I will present it to my lord Ike. You will accept it, will you not? I, I will, thank you. We do need money. That is a good point. Oh my god, my eyes are like... Uh, tripling frame one. Yeah, I think it's tough. I like I said, I tried it not too long ago and I really liked it, but I had tried it many times in the past and couldn't get out of the first chapter. It definitely, um, yeah, casket. I think casket makes a good point. You definitely need like you need the item information available if you're gonna play through it. <laughs> Perma turboed. I didn't think Fire Emblem One was too bad. I, I turboed in uh, in uh, Gaiden. Gaiden was. I, I think people like Gaiden. I. Gaiden's the only Fire Emblem game that I would never want to play again, ever. <laughs> I do want to play Echoes, I like Echoes, but I fucking hate Gaiden so much. No, my lord Ike, it is uh, I who must thank you. 20,000 gold! Well, now that it's settled, let's move on. Unfortunately, we do not have any uh, ships here in Gallia. If you're able... It... Wait, you don't have any ships? Don't you live on the water? If you, are, uh, if you were to find a ship that will take you to Benyon, you must return to occupied Crimea. If there's no under other way, then we'll just have to risk it. No matter how cautiously you proceed, you're certain to run into Dane forces. Keep that in mind. I understand. It's too bad we're so short on soldiers. Still, there's not much we can do about it. Uh, there's not much we can do about it now. However, I will review our supplies carefully before we depart. <laughs> Tell me that ain't inspired. <laughs> Rock is a bad name. Doga is the sultan of choking this fight. <laughs> it would be Doga to me. Doga's definitely, yeah. It's the first mission and that's it. I also think Echoes just looks really good, to be honest. Fell in love with the music? Yeah. I, I guess that's the thing about Echoes. I think it looks great. I think it sounds great. I think it feels great. I don't know how much fun it's going to be on, like, an Iron Man. And I also don't know how much I love the gameplay. It, it is pretty tedious, I would agree with that. But it, it just feels... I don't know, there's something about Echoes, I just think it feels so good. In regard to your personal problems, uh, the king has decided to lend you what aid he can. Leith, Mordecai. I will join you. Mordecai and Leith, both of you, are you sure? None of the others could stand the idea of traveling with humans. I myself tremble with loathing at the thought of going to Benyon, but when the king gives an order, obedience is the only option. That may be, but having witnessed the combat prowess of the Galleons for myself, I know how fortunate we are. We will not fail you. Yes, I have no intention of becoming friends. <laughs> I don't even like you, Babaka. <laughs> Do not forget that and stay out of my way. Haha, <laughs> you must forgive Leith. Her tongue cuts as deep as her claws do. I'll return once I've reported to the king. While I'm gone, please finish your preparations for departure. Very well. Shaker's head mingled. Is Echo's story different than Gaiden? I don't, I don't actually remember it being any different, to be honest. The Gaiden story is pretty, like, simple, if I remember correctly, but... Some pretty bad maps. I just didn't like Echoes or Gaiden has like so many low percentages. You just miss over and over again in Gaiden. It's it's I find that very unfun to play. No desire to ever replay it. I can I can believe that, yeah. We got a bunch of new uh people. There are no casualties, and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report, if you'll excuse me. Go directed Echo is an extremely dire fan of Gaiden. Oh, well, that's good. Chris, I can improve this story. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Because of the witches? Yeah. There's a lot of tedium with that stuff. I should care just some narrative changes. Oh, oh, does it? Gun story isn't great. <laughs> Kaka's fetish for damsels. And Echo's managed to destroy. Oh, okay. I So I haven't played Echoes, because I never played Echoes on stream, whereas I played Gaiden not too long ago. 
And I read through the story, so I think I'm more familiar with Gaiden's story. But yeah. There's like a- wait, there's like a- um, doesn't Celica have like a brother or something that appears and helps you? Isn't that unique? Because I remember playing through um, Gaiden and I was really confused by why he never showed up. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll have to figure that out when we get there. place yeah well a lot of the uh, yeah a lot of the names are well a lot of the stuff's based on like yeah like actual uh actual stuff also teams their name yeah which i think is cool is i didn't know galio was a real place is that like a european somewhere in europe um this chapter is pretty straightforward did i get any experience you get very little experience on maniac yeah not really Maybe you can have a level Sick. Kelly was for oh, Kelly was France before France. Interesting. I did not know that. Oh, pss. uh, you guys can talk. Oh, Kelly is Gaul. Okay, I, I do vaguely know what Gaul is. Hey, I training. Yeah, you too, huh? Hey, do you want to spar? I learn a lot when we team up. Really? Uh, I'm glad to hear it. I thought you no longer needed my lessons. What are you talking about? You're the only one who uh, put the finishing touches on my on what swordsmanship I inherited from my father. That's the one weapon she doesn't use, like. <laughs> I'm honored to hear you say so. I guess she doesn't use bows either. I mean it, but the talent you inherited from your father is one of a kind. I want you to cherish it. Huh? Hey, Titania, when did you meet my father? You used to be a Crimean knight, right? That's right. For, uh, but it's a long story, and we need to train. Get ready, focus, fine. Same thing with Madan. Oh, I gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ostia, Burn, Aquelia, yeah. Did somebody else talk? Oh, Mist and Rolf, okay. Rolf, oh there you are. Mist, were you looking for me? Yes, I've been meaning to talk to you. We haven't had a t uh, we haven't had a chance to talk since that day we fought for the first time. I'm glad you're safe. Somehow we're both still alive. Yes, we've been so lucky. My heart was pounding and my hands were shaken. My hands were shaken <laughs> so badly that I almost shot an arrow into Boyd's backside. <laughs> Tee hee! Good thing you didn't, or he would have given you a smacking. I was so scared. I heard yelling, screaming, and the most awful howls of agony. I felt dizzy and sick. I wasn't scared at all. Uh, maybe I was a little nervous, but by the end I was almost hitting my- I was almost hitting my targets! You weren't even a little scared? No way. I can't wait for the next battle. I'll fight- uh, I'll fight better next time. You'll see. I'll feather a horde of slobbering enemies. See you later, mist. I've got- <laughs> Rolf's a fucking sociopath! That was slightly concerning. Um, okay, I think everyone pretty much has what they need. Okay, you- I have an Armor Slayer for you I should really give you. Because actually, the Armor Slayer would be pretty useful here. Potentially. Oh, Joe, steal once I didn't see Hector. <laughs> Feels bad. This is all Latin towns? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> That's what people want, man. That's what people want. All right, I think we're good to go. I actually love the, uh, I, I love this game for like showing you a map constantly. I guess the, the GBA games do that too, but I always really like the map they show you in this game. I feel like I understand um, Tellius like pretty well. Was it <laughs> capture the, <laughs> the city of Chicago? <laughs> yeah, that would be a little weird. After his father's death places the mantle of leadership on his young shoulders, Ike agrees to continue as Alentius' escort. Torch is the bad is the bad guy, so it works. Yeah, the company heads now for the <coughs> the Benyan Empire, the <coughs> Jesus, the oldest and largest nation on the continent of Tellius. As Crimea is a former fiefdom of Benyan, the princess turns to them for succor, for succor, 
Uh, much as a sacred child, or scared child, returns to their parent. Many in Tellius believe that without Benyan's might and influence, Crimea's reconstruction will be nigh impossible. However, Benyan and Gallia have no diplomatic ties and are further separated by an impassable mountain range. So the company is forced to return to Crimea, where they hope to locate a ship to carry them to Benyan. Laos, Biran, and... Oh, interesting. Okay. With the Empire of Detroit and the Rebel Army <laughs> of New York. Yeah. Map Showcase. Yeah, I would agree. I like it a lot. I like it. Accompanied by Renolf, the warrior who has volunteered to guide them, the company leaves Castle Gallia behind. With heavy hearts and wounded spirits, they begin the long march back to Crimea. Yeah, Three Houses is weird. I would agree. Crimea <laughs> wants Benyan to suck. <laughs> hey, I called up a moment. You know, I was thinking, since this castle's on the way, we should probably stop by. Uh, really, why? Is there anything special about this place? Uh, well, yes, there is. This is Ken Kenteus Ken Ken Kent Castle. <laughs> Dan seized it early on in the war. Now it serves as a camp for prisoners. I've even heard there are a number of Crimean retainers being held captive in the dungeons beneath the castle. What? Are you certain? Princess, I'm hurt. Of course my information is reliable. If we could rescue some Crimean soldiers, they might decide to join us. That would be quite a boon, would, would it not? Yes, I. it would. I think it's worth the risk. Renault. Oh, interesting. Renault's more of a surname. Hmm. This is not the best con in a passage in Italian in the English version of the script. That's a little weird. Uh, the question now is how how do you open uh, these cells and free the prisoners? The cells are certain to be locked, so in order to open them, logic would dictate that would dictate that the keys will be in the possession of the jailer. We've no choice but to steal them. If we're lucky, the guards will have keys as well. In either case, we must move with caution. We don't want to trade blows with the entire castle garrison, which means we stay close to the walls and avoid being seen or heard. Right? All right then. The first priority is to get our hands on the cell keys. Hey, you there. Hey, Volk. What's up? We doing this stealth mode? I genuinely have no clue how to do this stealth mode, so no. I have business with Sir Grail. Where is he? You're sorely uh, lacking in social etiquette, aren't you? Uh, state your business. Or etiquette, not etiquette. <laughs> etiquette. I was like, that didn't sound right. I'll speak with Sir Grail and Sir Grail alone. Now take me to him. What you ask is impossible. Commander Grail is dead. Well, that is a problem. Just who are you, anyway? Call me Volk. Sir Grail hired me. I'm in intelligence. My father hired you. You are Sir Grail's son, correct? You'll do. Sir Grail hired me to investigate something. You pay my price, and I'll give you my report. Deal? How much? 50000 That's a bit steep, and worth every penny. I don't have that much. Give me some time. So you're willing to pay? My father hired you. You must have a good reason. Are you sure, Commander? We have no way of telling if he's uh, knowing if he's telling the truth. We'll know when he when we see the contents of that report. Until then, let's have him travel with us. So that's your plan, eh? Hey, listen, you get the report when I'm paid, uh, and I'm not waiting around until then. I'll keep my information for the time being. Call me when you've got some gold. Stop in any tavern along your way. Tell the barkeep you've need of a fireman. You'll see me within an hour. Hold a moment. Intelligence. You said you were in intelligence, right? Is information the only thing you sell? Come out with it. What are you asking? Locks. Can you open locks? Sure. 50 gold per lock. Uh, you're going to have him open the cell doors? Is that wise? We've only just met him. There's no uh, telling if we can trust him. Sure. Oh. So what is it? So it's the final consonants are, are silent. Oh, so it's Renault. It's Renault. Is it Renault and Renault? Is that what it is? Interesting. With less letter. Oh, so it would just be like Renault, or like Re Renault or something. This shit guy's a JD. <laughs> I didn't recruit it. What did you say? No. <laughs> I think you actually do get an item if you say no. 
Buck, will you help us break into these cells? As long as I get paid, I have no complaint. Titania, objections? I told you before, didn't I? You're the commander. If you decide on a course of action, I will but follow. Righto, I'm off. Good luck at all that. What? Wait, you're going to help us. Uh, you're not going to help us here? Much as I would like to. I have a job to do. I will rejoin you when I'm finished. Hmm, I see. Well, good luck to you then. Yes, and to you as well. <laughs> He's charging consultant rates. Zoran, please look after Princess Valencia as you wish. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. That if if you decline like race and Gen F and them, you get you get like a skill. But I I couldn't. I kind of always assumed you got something here, but I've never not taken Volk. So we want Volk for the chests. I don't think he does. Oh. No. Charges open chest and oh, does he in Radiant Dawn? <laughs> uh, we want Rolf. So who are we not bringing? That's the question. I kind of want everybody. I probably only need one healer here. I kind of want to train Mist more than I want to train Rice. Maybe bringing only one healer and that being Mist isn't the best idea. But I want to bring Rolf and then I think that's it. Oh, I'm, why am I just not bringing a person? Wait, yeah, why am I just not bringing a person? Oh, it's because I, I declined both rice and mist. I'm a genius. This <laughs> is a placeholder message. That's funny. Um, I could just stop bringing Oscar. I mean, do I want to use? We could just not use Oscar, to be honest. Eh, it's probably better to have him around. All right, whatever. Let's just do it. Okay, so you can do this chapter in like a stealth mode, but frankly, I have no clue how to do that. So I don't even think you really need to open this door, to be honest, because you can't do actually anything. We're under attack. Commander Danomil. The castle defenses have been breached. What are your orders, sir? What fortunate timing. We were starting to run low on prisoners. Do try to capture them alive. I won't have you robbing me of any fun. As you command, sir. Oh, hello. <laughs> rice, rice, baby. We've been spotted. There's nothing left to do but fight. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to open this door. You can make him into like an other unit, but I don't think that does anything. I figured we'll just trigger the reinforcements to come right away so we can at least get a good idea of what they look like. And like I said, I have no clue how to do this this chapter on like stealth mode. All right, let's do you and then... Oh, Rolf might have to take a hit here. Oh, that's okay. It's not like he gets doubled or anything. Should be good. Takes a lot of times. Yeah, I could believe that. I think I tr I tried it a couple times when I was a kid, but I could never uh, could never quite figure it out. <laughs> the animals. It's like a bonus experience, Rolf. Yeah, I feel like that's one of those things that once you know how to do it, it's probably not that bad. But yeah, I've no clue. Tracks are effective against doors. I I did know that. <laughs> that's true. We do get bonus experience. Actually, that's something. So I mentioned this before, but I haven't mentioned it in a while. So the way this chapter works, I'm pretty sure is if you play if you play the game normally on either on any mode, all you have to do is keep alive Nephany, Brahm, and um, Kieran. Maybe you have to open their doors. But because we're playing in Maniac mode, the only way to recruit them is to make them become an other unit and then have them escape. Just super boring and annoying? Yeah, I can believe that. So, I'm trying to remember actually. Oh, actually, no, I remember this now. 
it's it's a good thing that um we brought Oscar because the only way to recruit Kieran is actually to bring Oscar. The first maniac mode I ever tried, I lost Oscar on an earlier chapter, and then I couldn't recruit Kieran either. That's right, because that was a huge part of my problem the first time I tried this, was I didn't have Oscar or Kieran. Uh tell me something, will you? What's gonna happen to us? Those Dan soldiers uh took my friends away and they didn't ever they didn't never come back. What did they do to them? Oh, something bad happened. I just know it. Quiet, fool. Keep your cowardly mutterings to yourself. It matters not what vile torture they devise. A true knight of Crimea is bold, steadfast, and strong. I care not if they pull out my nails with tongs, or insert pins into my soft flesh, or the underbelly, or yank Jesus. Stop it, I can't bear torture. I'm not a professional soldier. I'm just a part of the militia. I can't believe I left my family behind for this. Will I ever see them again? Oh, I want to go home. Curses, if only I had a weapon of some sort. They let him keep his, his horse. Help will come. I will not give up. Yo, is that Nephany? <laughs> she solos this game. Yo, I solo these, don't worry. <laughs> Your Nephany is top tier. I do want to use Nephany. <laughs> I don't know if she's top tier, but I do want to use her. Uh, can you guys combine to, like, kill something? I'm kind of thinking you can't, but... I'm assuming this is going to look pretty pathetic. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Throw the horse in the dungeon. Put him in the dungeon, but let him keep his horse. I'm not a maniac, after all. <laughs> we should bring back dismounting? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh my god. And this team, everyone on this crew is just pathetic. <laughs> just the most pathetic units I've ever seen. Sure. She's best in the game, trust me. I trust, I trust. Nephany's a beast, you just gotta trust. <coughs> I mean, I love Nephany, I definitely want to use her. Norse was indicted for tax fraud, don't defend it. This son of a bitch! Put him in the dungeon. Uh, let's just do this. Yeah, I guess I do want to open this door at some point. Nice. <laughs> I think... So I'm pretty sure Oscar is the only unit that we need here, because I think... Uh, maybe you also can't get Brom. Well, we could do everything because we have Oscar, but I'm pretty sure, like, I think Kieran needs to talk. To, I think you need to talk to Brom with Oscar, and then Kieran needs to talk to Brom. And then I think, I think you can just recruit Nephany no matter what. Like, I, I think Nephany just needs to be talked to by Ike. I think. But yeah, actually, I almost didn't bring Oscar on this chapter, so I'm glad I did because otherwise we couldn't get Kieran. It's looking a little sus, by the way. Kevin doesn't. <laughs> Kevin doesn't need to talk to Brom. Oh, is it? Is it just I talked to Brom? Okay, you guys are probably right. I, I wasn't sure. The only the only one that I remember um, <laughs> against the bumpkins. <laughs> That's true. The only one that I remember is uh, is Kieran, because like I said, I didn't get him on that one playthrough. Needs courtly romancing. <laughs> uh, that's true. Um, okay, I probably need Boyd over here more. Yeah, let's see if we can't kill this guy. And then Oscar can go to help down here. Look, Oscar's offense may be absolutely pathetic, but no one can deal any damage to him. Oscar is basically a knight. A knight that can't hit hard. Which is not a great knight, but, you know. Mostly because Great Knight isn't a class in this game, but... Uh, Ike... Yeah, I want Ike to, I think, over here, too. And then let's kill this guy. And then... Let's kill this guy. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, 15 defense is crazy. 
Look at look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's got 13 speed and 15 defense. That's nuts. Uh, so if I I'm gonna trade you just onto the iron, and then do this. All right, Tonga. Yeah, enjoy your night. Thanks for hanging out. And then shove you. And then sure. Yeah, the archer can get to me, but that's okay. Uh, oh, wait, the archer, hold on, 13, but you don't die. She, Mistle says Miracle, which you don't want to get into a situation, obviously, where you have to proc Miracle, but, you know, she does have it. Let's fit him in the FE9 triangle. I feel like Oscar at this point, whoa, did that guy have a night kill? Why did she take so much damage? I got to pay more attention to how much health these units have, apparently. So this chapter isn't too difficult, um, although it's looking a little sus right now, but it's, it's not too bad. Once we get past this point, there's really not much to deal with left. I guess she could get doubled, but I think she's her speed is actually pretty good, so... Yeah. Oscar is, yeah, basically just my mounted knight at the moment, like... I, I guess technically this class is knight, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, Ross, there's a... Or not Ross, Rolf. There's a wonderful kill here for you. I want to heal... You guys are... I can vulnerate you. I want to heal Titania. Because apparently she's hurt, as I did not notice. And then... Uh, sure, kill this guy. Boyd is doing a pretty good job. Despite his um questionable level ups, he, he is looking pretty solid here. Double Bull Rolf will uh, salvage his run in the 11th hour. That would be, that'd be pretty hype. Not gonna lie. We'll see. We'll see. Isn't the Double Bull like really ass in this game or something? Gamble Rolf? <laughs> what does Gamble do exactly in this game? I I always like get Gamble and then I think and then I think it's like pretty crap and then I uh, get rid of it. But doesn't it like, it like increases your crit but like lowers your hit or something, right? You feel that seven money? <laughs> it should be. Uh, I can't take both of you, right? 18. I actually have nine defense. So 10, 10 plus 11 is actually not enough to kill me. Nah, it's probably safer if I just don't. Kills have hit double crit. Okay, I gotcha. Should it be Makalov's skill? Yo, it actually should have been. Yeah. Why is it Kieran's skill? Yeah, that's weird. We could tr we can triangle attack uh double bow. Uh double bow Rolf. That'd be sick. Yo, triangle attack Ashnar double bow Rolf? Are we cooking? Oh my god, I'm actually pretty shocked that Ike is even dealing a damage, to be honest. So I do want to eventually get Ike to 20, because he can be a pretty useful promoted unit, but we have a long time before that's the case, so I'm not really that worried about his levels at the moment. What level is he? 11? Okay. Ashnard can't, uh, Rolf can't hear, hear to Ashnard? Oh, so we're not cooking. <laughs> oh, we, we've burned down the pantry. Uh, that's not great. You don't even double? How much you get weighed down by this thing? Holy fuck! Stuff weighs so much in this game. I guess because it's it's held against your strength, so it makes sense. But what do you do damage to Ashner? <laughs> the double was only seven might. Oh my god! So it's nuts, is what you're saying? Never heard Ashnard, yeah. You can't triangle attack with the double bow? Wait, really? Is this double bow like a like a, a meme? Like a bit? I don't understand. This thing sounds horrible. 
<laughs> Funny story, the, the double bow is actually a devil weapon <laughs> that deals double damage to you when you backfire, and you always backfire. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot that I had that range. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you have something I can steal? No. <laughs> the worst weapon in all of Fire Emblem. I've never really used it. I never really have an archer at that point that can even use it, so I'm not really familiar with it, but it sounds horrible. <laughs> Double delete your save when you use it. <laughs> it actually uninstalls the game. Uh, no, just keep dealing a tiny bit of damage. I don't want you to like randomly kill him and then potentially die. Um, okay, just kill this guy. Or you can't kill this guy. You're not in danger though, right? 16, no. Volk's stats are actually like not bad, but unfortunately being... Being, like, forced to use just... Well, for one thing, Valk's promotion is story-based, which kind of sucks. But also, being forced to just use um, knives is definitely uh, not great for dealing any kind of damage. It needs your credit card info. <laughs> you have to pay $19.99 every time you use it. <laughs> Luckily, it just deletes your save, so... <laughs> it doesn't end up being that expensive. Use knives to nerf classes, yeah. It is unfortunate, knives, knives really blow. Attention old Tellius Gamer. <laughs> By virtue of being attainable? I suppose that's true. I suppose technically that's accurate. Virtue of being attainable. I guess attempting to avenge his father and slay the Black Knight. It, it appears so. Maybe Ike is the Black Knight. Bro, Mia, you were... You know what's funny is we've actually gotten pretty lucky with Mia. I think she's already gotten a strength level up. She's gotten like two defense level ups. But like, swords are just so bad. She still can't deal like any damage. Look at these stats. They're not bad. It's just... Swords are so ass in this game. <laughs> Wait, this sword? <laughs> it's like, oh, Ike is better than Sigurd in this game. Also true, also accurate information. Ike is better than Seth in this game too, to be honest. You know, Mist is actually better than Seth in this game. It's crazy. Yeah, Ike, Ike currently has access... He has 13 strength and 11 speed, by the way. Ike currently has access to both the Ragnell and the, uh... And the Irvan, and he is using neither. I think you have the Ragnall, right? What happens with the Ragnall? You just kind of carry the Ragnall with you. Or do, does, does the Black Knight still have it? I, I don't actually know. Uh, let him do that. You can start... Breaking this door. Breaking the door, breaking the door. Uh, sure. Yeah, he just he just has the rag now. It's just it's just he currently has access to it and he's just not using it. What a guy. Oh, that's true. That's true, Seafair. He he did we did leave the uh, the Irvan at the grave, so we don't have access to that. That is true. It is true. Alright, me, I believe in you. Perfect. Sword so Grail left it. It definitely might be. I don't remember exactly what happens later when you finally like use it, but. Do you go back later to get it? I think he might. I'm not sure. 
I don't know. That does seem familiar, but I'm not 100%. Um, sure, I'm just gonna start opening this door. We can just use the door key, whatever. I don't know if it's better than using attacks, but... The guy can attack me all he wants. Too bright. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Me about to go MIA. Watch this level up, though. Huge! Oh my god. <laughs> Magic luck HP. I mean, I do like HP. I, I will at least give her that. <laughs> Big if true. Go get some chests. That is true. Yeah, if you left it, that's a good point. If you left it in Gallia, it wouldn't really be an opportunity to go back and get it. Hello. You there, we've come to rescue you. Ah, you're not a soldier, are you? Your clothing gives you away. I'm a pilgrim. My name is Sephiran. You're a monk? Why would they imprison you? I was arrested in a nearby village where I was tending to wounded Crimean knights. I received no trial, but have nevertheless been kept prisoner in this place ever since. I see, that explains it. <coughs> we've come here to liberate the prisoners of war. You should take this opportunity to escape. You will set me free? That is most gracious of you. But if you've no objection, I would ask your name. I am Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Please, the cell door is open. You should leave while you can. Thank you, Ike. Uh, thank you. Perhaps we'll meet again, Ike. Nah, this character doesn't seem important. <laughs> look at this. Look at Sephiroth's stats. This character doesn't seem important. Nah. <laughs> eh, it doesn't seem important at all. Those stats aren't even that high. She got 30% st Does she really? Why? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, that is a bit odd. Oh, I already opened that door. This door we can probably whack open. The walking spoiler is here. <laughs> Should be very important in this game. Nah. I think he'll probably never appear again. I don't think this... Uh... I remember when I was younger and uh, the end of this game happens where Ike has like the conversation with Sephiran. I was like so fucking confused at what I was reading. Alright, go get your boy. Uh, how do I want to do this? Javelin, Javelin, Javelin. Javelin. A lot of Javelins. Alright, let's finish this door. Heal you before I forget and you die. Levels missed. Three. Okay. Unfortunately, just by proxy of how like, just by uh, just by how low the experience gain for um, mages or for uh, healers are, you, you kind of have to invest bonus experience if you ever want to actually promote. Rice kind of less so, but especially missed if we want to promote her. Miss Promoted class is really bizarre because she gets access to swords instead of like something like light magic, which really sucks. But she also gets mounted, which is really good, so it's kind of weird. You're from Crimea, right? Come on, we're here to rescue you. We've opened your cell, and now's the time to escape. Ah, it's you. Pardon? I can never forget that squint. Knights of Crimea, 12th Regiment. My, your name is Oscar. And you're, wait a minute, you're Kirin, right? That's right, I am Kirin. The same Kirin who has sworn himself to be your eternal rival. All right, Kieran, so how have you been? You look good. <laughs> As always, your manner is listless and inappropriate. It befits one who would call me foe. You were discharged three years ago. What are you doing here now? Ah, could it be? You dastard. You've turned your coat and gone over to Dayan, haven't you? Arr! <laughs> what despicable, contemptible behavior. Unforgivable. Have you no shame? You are my one true rival. Where is your pride gone? The mercenary company I'm attached to serves under the command of the Princes of Crimea. We came here to free any Crimean prince, uh, prisoners. The princess of Crimea? You're not part of the royal guard? How do you know about the princess? Well, like I said, the princess is our employer and... Aha! So that's your scheme, is it? You hope to distinguish yourself by... Uh, me meritorious? Meritorious service and gain the glory that is rightfully mine. Admit it! 
look, my duty is blast you, curse your name, curse the name of Oscar, and I'll <laughs> call him Kin. <laughs> I'll never sir you'll never I'll never let you surpass me. Princess, I'm coming. Karen will be at, forever at your side. Whoa, he's even more excitable than I remember. Hard to believe he's actually a decent knight. <laughs> Curse you and all of your kin! <laughs> I'm gonna say that more. Yeah, we could Master Seal her. That, that's actually a really good use of the Master Seal, to be honest. <laughs> Curse you and all of your kin. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm assuming this is gonna work. Yeah, not even close, in fact. Denil. Or no, Denimal. Knights in this game, by the way, are no joke as far as defense goes. Like, in some of the GBA games in particular, their defense is, like, a decent amount, but they usually don't have that, don't have that much HP, and you can get through them pretty easily, but... Knights in this game have a lot of defense. <laughs> he has seven res! Why?! Yeah, they have 17. That's crazy. What are these units? Bro, all of our units are just bizarre. Just strange individuals. An LCC seems like a freaking nightmare. Yeah, I can't imagine that's very fun. Okay, I like speed. Mage Killer Boyd, apparently. One damage to the Lance Crypt Forge on my mate. Jesus. Look has come to play. I am so very happy to see you. Now then, are you ready to become my prisoners and live a life of eternal bliss within my lovely dungeon? I actually did not realize that Danimal could get to me, but it's fine. Oh yeah, I guess on full recruitment you'd have to. Yeah, that that would be a pain. I could see that. Okay, I'm gonna start directing. Although it doesn't really matter because Nephany and Brom still need to get there. But move to the targeted areas. I don't know why I thought you could make Se uh, Sephiran the a yellow unit. He's also got a bunch of res. Yeah, he's ten res. Can I kill him? What's your hit? Eighty-five. It's actually not bad. Oh, but I don't double. I get doubled, Mia. What the hell? He has ten speed, Mia. I probably should have given Titania something a little stronger. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll kill him eventually. I was hoping to get him kind of trapped in that room, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, wait, wait. We're we're popping though. Can I make this work? I don't want to rely on Mia because if she misses, a ninety-three is pretty good though. Maybe a crit here? Okay. Yeah, you can. You can, uh, Sparky. And we should do that. We have a Javelin. Alright, whatever. I mean, if she misses, it just wasn't meant to be, right? <laughs> I'm okay with that. You'll not escape. I will see you all. I will see all of you dead. You'll be executed. Yeah, I don't think so, Danimals. Uh, I guess you can get to me. Wait, this actually... Okay, I want this guy... How much attack do you have? There's a chance that Mia could die here. Still... How much does this thing weigh? 17, 17 go down by 8, so I have 6 speed. Oh, shoot. Wait, this is actually kind of bad. Wait, this isn't good at all. I think I get doubled. Uh, 18 minus 6 is 12. That's death. Oh shoot, I kind of messed this up. 
All right, Evo, you have a good night. Um, the problem is I'm pretty sure Mia gets doubled because she gets weighed down by eight, which means she has six speed, and this guy only gets weighed down by one, which means he has ten speed, which means he doubles Mia, which is bad, obviously. <laughs> Seventeen might, yeah. I, I need to trade her off of. I can't trade with her. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking, ah, shoot, it's my avoid only 20. Yeah, it's not good. What is, what is miracle proc exactly? Blood for the blood God. All right. This is the only thing that I'm kind of thinking if we do this and then we do this. Because they may, they may just want to attack Mist. But if the AI is smart, they can definitely kill Mia here. Okay, perfect. We should be good. Oh my god! I didn't actually check if Mist got one shot there. <laughs> Obviously she didn't, but <laughs> that was very sketchy. <laughs> Holy fuck. Alright, we should be good. Because she can survive two hits. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Uh, okay. A little sketchy, but we got there. You're a Crimean soldier, right? Come on, I'm here to rescue you. So seriously, I'm not dreaming again, am I? I'm a mercenary in the employ of uh, Princess Alencia. I'll give you all the details later. For now, we have to move. What? The princess? Oh, happy day. Wait, let me stretch a bit. But, oh, sorry, I'm stiff from this hard floor. Ow, 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 crap, crap, crap. Oh, for the love of, come on, this way. <laughs> oh, all right. Hold on a second. I don't remember the king having any children. <laughs> this is time to explain. Hurry up. Uh, coming. I like that he just, he just, even though that was, uh, he has no idea. He just assumed that was correct. Oh, the prince is alive. Oh, happy days. <laughs> Wait, there's a princess? I like Brom. He'll figure out the details later. God, my damn, just so pathetic. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Thankfully, the um, the three knights and the halberdier up there don't move, as you probably determined by this point. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about them too much. Okay, I should be able to get this for... Uh... Here goes luck percentage. Okay, so it is not a very good chance. I do have to kill here. I should probably stop being so, like, cute with Mist. Because I keep putting myself in these, like, kind of awkward positions. Yeah. I mean, we should be good. Hypothetically, if that would have missed. It is an 88%. I think that's reasonable. But if that would have missed, it actually would have been pretty bad. All right. Let's pick up Seferin. And I think that's all I want to do for now. You can only get to him. Okay. I guess I can trade him onto the uh, hand axe. Why not? Why not? I guess I get to attack the other guy too. That's kind of nice. Why not? My favorite Pokemon. Actually, I hate that Pokemon. So Boyd, I think, is level 19 right now, if I remember correctly. 20, actually. Okay, we could definitely promote him by the end of this. Hello. You're coming with me, sir. All right, we just got to get Nephany now. So... You are something special, you know that? I think Miracle's been good since Fire Emblem 6. Or is, is it Miracle like nuts in uh, Thracia too? Because can't you get like basically guaranteed uh, Miracle on uh, what's his face? But uh... yeah, wait, Miracle's like nuts in, in all of Thracia, or at least on the enemies. It, dude, Miracle is so annoying in Thracia. I'm just remembering how annoying Miracle is in Thracia. <laughs> it's so annoying.
Was a void shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good point. It, it definitely might. Definitely might. I could see that being the case for sure. Uh, any kind of range on that chapter is actually pretty valuable just for being able to hit off the boat and stuff. The next handful of chapters aren't too bad. The Raven chapter is pretty straightforward. The one after that, I think, was that a crit or did she just, <laughs> it must have been a crit. I think the next chapter is Blood Runs Red, which isn't too bad. I need to affect our forest friends. All right, Casket, yeah, enjoy your night. Thanks for hanging out. Changing society. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ileana seems to be doing a pretty good job dealing with these guys, so I guess she can just keep doing that. We need to hang out here for a couple more turns anyways while I recruit the last unit. Looks like three. But can't you, can't you, like, make it on Finn with the Brave Lance to, like, to get him, because you can get him to, like, 30 luck, so you can, like, guarantee it. I don't know how good that necessarily is, but... Basically, I just hate luck in Thracia because it... Or, uh, Miracle, because a bunch of the, those stupid wyverns have it, and they, like, never die. Damn, she's a critting machine right now. Crits really don't look like crits very much. Uh, okay, kill here... I don't know why I'm giving kills to Mia, but if we want to train Mia, this is very necessary, so... You do what you gotta do. Alright, strength. Huge strength. Okay. <laughs> Luck speed is about where I, uh, where I expected that to go, to be fair. But yeah, Miracle Miracle's a lot like a lot of those skills where it just... It's nice to have, like, having a... a Unit with Miracle, every once in a while they'll save themselves, you know, but for the most part, like, you don't want to get to a point where you're relying on that kind of thing. It's very scary. And hopefully you, you don't, but. Yeah, that's the only thing I remember is that you can get it to, like, 90%, but it's, I mean, it's still not something I would like to, like, rely on. It's just kind of interesting you can get it that high. Again, like, if, if Miracle is having to proc, you're, you're kind of in a bad spot anyways, but it's nice to have. You're a Crimean soldier, right? I've opened your cell. Let's get out of here. Who are you? I'm Ike. I'm with the mercenary company hired by Princess Crimea. I can fill you in on the details later. For the time being, you'll just have to trust me. Very well. Uh, you guys can move a little closer now. You're full health? Yeah. Um, oh, you still have. Yeah, that's right. Except for Anne. You're from real cool as a chance base. Oh, is it? Wait, that sounds really busted. How does Miracle work in FE4? That sounds ridiculous. Oh my god. Alright, Ileana refuses to get speed, but that's kind of just her thing. If she just ends up being a healer for me, she doesn't really need speed, I guess. But it'd be nice to have. All right, Boyd, how do you look fighting this guy? Not amazing, but not terrible. Actually, we can get Boyd to a promotion very easily here, so that's cool. Wait your turn, Ike. Oh, that is a good point, Sparky. Yeah, that is a good point. Every, every, at least for a couple of strength level ups, every strength level up is a speed for her, which is pretty good. That is true. And like, like I said, her speed isn't like the most crucial in the game because I really just need her to heal a little bit um, eventually. That's probably the best I'm going to be able to do with her. And we get the warrior, Boyd. First promotion hype indeed. I gotta know how screwed he is, <laughs> especially strength-wise. 
It does have 46, uh, 46 HP. All right, let's check out Boyd. Uh, where's he at? Boyd. All right, level one promoted Boyd. He is perfect on HP, obviously. He is four strength screwed. That sucks. Perfect on magic. One skill screwed. He's two speed screwed, but only because we gave him the speed wing. He's actually perfect on speed. Um, he's still five luck blessed. His defense is perfect, and he's two and a half luck blessed. His weakest promoted void. He's not too bad. It's mostly just that strength. Like, he's so strength screwed. This guy's 14 defense. What the fuck? Oh my god. Um, yeah, I think Boyd's gonna have to just kill this guy. It's rough out there. Wow, that was nerve-wracking. Well, I'm off. I think they're all just escape. Oh, no, don't attack. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, sneaking around like this just isn't my way. I mean, we didn't sneak at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> you sound insane. All right, we'll let Boyd uh, finish this guy. You know, actually, I think I'm probably going to keep the animations off, at least for right now, but I kind of want to see at least one. I kind of like the way that uh, Warriors look, the animation. It's kind of cool. I like the way they look when they when they use their bows. They're very, uh, very like, deliberate with the bow. It's kind of cool. Alright, now we can get out of here. So yeah, like I said, on um, on Maniac Mode, we need to uh, make all the... So the way to have the uh, other units escape is pretty simple. We just have to use Direct to tell them to get to the escape point. And then to escape with Sephiran... Well, I'll wait, actually, because I'll get a little bit more experience for Mist here. Thank goodness. I'll suck a little bit of the experience out of this. Fuck, oh, smirk is another hit. Vok does have a, yeah, very, very wry smile going. He is a handsome fella, that's for sure. Ooh, good level up. The problem with Mist, as I've said before, is that uh, she uses swords on promotion. Uh, not that that really matters, because again, she can still heal. That's her most important thing. But uh, yeah, just really weird. Because her, her strength is very low in this game. Oh, I could have healed Ike. Oh, well. Time to get out of here. I brought one of the Crimean soldiers who's being held prisoner. Um, I'm sure you are unaware of this, but I am... Princess Alencia. Oh, yes, quite right. I am Kieran. I served under General Joffrey as leader of Crimea's 5th platoon. My platoon had the honor of escorting you from the palace during Dane's attack. Really, you were there when... I was. Lord Renning ordered my platoon to accompany General Joffrey... Uh, to serve as your escort. Our mission was to see you safely out of Crimea to Gallius King. But we failed you, and when you were lost to us, I believe my worthless life was at its end. Yet, here you are. To think I would be so blessed as to see you again. Such emotion, I... The tears. Kieran, where were there others? Such terrific emotion, so... I beg your pardon? <laughs> Did anyone uh, other than yourself survive? Of course, though I was the only one unfortunate enough to suffer the misery of captivity. General Joffrey and several of his soldiers fought off the Dane attack. They were able to slip away. Even now, they wait in Crimea, hoping for one last chance to strike a blow against Dan. Joffrey, he's alive. Ah, uh, how those words drive my drive off the shadows across my heart. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you for surviving. You're too kind, Your Highness. The opportunity to serve you again is the greatest reward I could ask for. For as long as I draw breath, I will stand ready at your side. This I swear. Switching Mr. Broadside of a barn. Yeah, that's a good point too. 
Yeah, no, she. it's all rough for her. <laughs> He's Oscar's lover. <laughs> all right, we all know where Kieran stands. How about you two? Will you recognize Prince Delencia as the rightful heir to the Crimean throne? Will you fight for her? Look here, my name's Brahm, and this lass is Nephany. We're just simple country militiamen uh, from the same territory. Now, we don't know much about nobles and stuff. Kings and queens don't matter much uh, when you're working the fields. Of course, we know we'll be in trouble if someone takes our fields away from us. That's why we joined the militia. The King of Dan's no friend of ours, and I hear he's doing terrible things too. Vile tortures with rusty nails and, and more. What's going to happen to my family? I left them uh, all back home, and I'm so worried I can hardly see straight. If you can defeat the King of Dan, will this country return to the way it used to be? Is that uh, is that what you're after? It is my hope. I may not be as powerful as my father, but I will never abandon Crimea. You sound like a lady who stands by her words. <laughs> I've only known you for 10 seconds, but looks like my choice is easy. Mine too. I will fight in your name. I'll help you and yours, and we'll send those day in milk sops packing. Milk sops packing. <laughs> Thank you. When I was uh, when I was younger, because the the three people you get, Kieran, um, Brom, and or no, sorry, Kieran, yeah, Kieran, Brom, and uh, Nephany, they don't come with weapons. And I didn't know how to use the shop when I was first playing this game when I was a kid, and I could never figure out what weapon Nephany was supposed to use. I thought she couldn't use a weapon. <laughs> I beg your pardon, your old blessed saint. Master Sephiram, you're alive. Brom, Nephany, are either of you wounded? Or fine, but what about you? You were jailed for helping us. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope uh, I hope they didn't hurt you too much. It is nothing to fret about. Everyone is safe, and that is what matters. Oh, blessed one. Pardon me, may I have a moment? Yes? Ah, you're the man I met earlier. I owe you so much for freeing me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to thank us. However, I am curious about your situation. Why were you aiding the Crimean soldiers? Do you ask my story? You're a monk on pilgrimage, as well as an ally of Crimean resistance fighters? Under the circumstances, do you blame me? Tell me something, Ike. If you came across a wounded person, could you ignore his plight? Normally, no, I could not. But in times like these, where it means risking my own life, I don't know, it's tough to say. Haha, <laughs> you're quite honest. However, if actually faced with such a choice, a man such as yourself would not hesitate. If faced with an individual uh, in pain, you would act instinctively. Your body would not wait for the command. Who who are you? Really, you're so calm, so full of peace. I can't believe you're a simple monk. If you'll forgive me, I must be going. Fare thee well, young warrior. I am certain that we'll meet again. Just so definitely have the ability to pierce mantle. Oh yeah, I believe. <laughs> Ike. Oh, hello, Volk. What do you want? I was thinking about traveling with you for a bit. I'll be in the area. I'll be in the general area. So if you need anything, you can call me. I'll help you out. For a fee, of course. What did you say? Why would you do such a thing? In times such as these, there must be many parties that need intelligence. Well, you sparked my curiosity, and besides, no, we'll just leave that for another time. That's not acceptable. Don't be so inflexible. It's not as if I'll be joining your merry band or anything. This is strictly business, and yet you... Titania. I believe this is a good opportunity. Of course Soren likes the creepy man. I believe this is a good opportunity. We will almost certainly uh, have need of this man's talents. He is a dubious character at best, but at least we know his motives. Everything begins and ends with gold. He'll be easy to control. Soren, he's standing right there. I don't think he minds. <laughs> what will it be, Ike? The decision is yours. Sure. Very well, you may do as you like. Excellent. Call me if you need anything. First the thief and then that monk. What an odd band of characters you've attracted. Renolf, have you finished your errands? All done. But about those two. Yes, they're both rather mysterious. Well, the monk seems like a decent enough fellow. Determining who is a friend and who is a foe is something I must be able to do, but it's, so, it's just so hard. That's only because you don't have enough information to base your judgment on. All we can do now is press on. You're right. I believe this is this should be Blood Runs Red. Alright, well I am going to end the stream here for today. Um, yeah, we got our first promotion, and no deaths, so I'd say a pretty positive uh, experience. Um... And yeah, next time we do Blood Runs Red, and then we're going to get on the boat, do a couple of boat chapters. The mid-game of uh, Path of Radius isn't too bad. Uh, I think we should be pretty well set up, but uh, but yeah. We get to see some racism, too. That should be uh, that should be fun. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, as always. I really appreciate it, and uh, I will, uh, I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your night, everybody.